That's done. Did that. Check. What's on the wall trays in the cat's tomb? What's happening? Head for shelter. Ah! Look out. John! John! We need an emergency evacuation. Somebody call Cairo. Call a doctor. It's the curse. Take cover. Take cover. How many vases are on the pedestals in the passage to the cat mural? The deadly device. With the case now cold, it's up to me to bring the murderer to justice without becoming the next victim of... Now it seems someone has. Days before a highly anticipated announcement, one of the world's top scientists was found dead. More than 50 years after his death, many researchers would kill to solve the mysteries he left behind. Half scientist, half magician, Nikola Tesla's groundbreaking work electrified the modern world. I need your help finding some items in the tomb. Can you gather some information for me? Stub! Thank you for calling Spot. If you are calling to report a UFO sighting, please remember to include your location. The sky is very large. Thank you for calling Spide. Tickets for the next lecture by Sunny Dune are now on sale. All galactic currencies accepted. No materializing in the lobby, please. You've reached the Spide switchboard. If you've reached this number on accident, then this is a pizza place, and we're closing forever. Right now. Thank you for calling the Strange Phenomenon Inspectors, Extraterrestrial Division. All agents are currently dispatched. You've reached Spide. Your call may be monitored by government agencies intent on suppressing all evidence of alien activities and also for training purposes. Thank you for calling Spide, Earth Creature. Please leave your message in the form of binary light sequencing. What is Sekhmet shown holding in her left hand in the cat's tomb? Hotchkiss out! Goodbye! Bye, dear. I do recall hearing that Nefertari's cat's name meant destiny. That could be a good place to start. That is not an easy one. I thought you'd never ask, do your worst. They also represented the four cardinal points, each protecting a sacred organ. I seem to remember that Hoppy was the lungs. A human and three animals. A jackal was Duwamatef, Baboon, Hoppy, and Kebasenuef. Oh my, oh, oh my, yes, let's see. Nebatawi, the lady of two lands. So it seems favoritism isn't a modern invention. Yes. Henatawi, the mistress of two lands. Merit Amen, the beloved of Amen. I come back when you're ready for the girls. Oh, these names. The best part about ancient Egyptian names is that there are no ancient Egyptians around to correct your pronunciation. Oh, I come back when you're ready for the girls. Mary Atom, beloved of Atom. Mary, beloved of Ray. Pa Ray here, Wenemeth. Ray is with his strong arm. Oh dear, you get a piece of paper and a pen and you write down whatever you like for the next five minutes. There's among her kepshef, meaning among is with his strong arm. Yes, it's best we start with the boys. Of course I do. You should focus on what doesn't make sense. Look for a part of the pattern that has no earthly business being there. Then you are in for a treat. I like my puzzles as tempting as the gooseberry pie from San Rios in Little Brazil and as complex as the ginger lime sauce they lovingly smother it in. Oh, drat and drat. Well, perhaps I'll just be dull and prepare myself a curried waffle sandwich. Is this your first day at Spice Town? I'm Hotchkiss. We'll be talking to each other quite often. Would you kindly summarize your personality for me, for efficiency's sake? Is that still you, Norma? Hotchkiss here. I'd like baguette stuffed with mushroom and sautéed asparagus, and a beef jerky salad with caramel vinaigrette. My point is that you can see what you want to see, and what I want to see is that takeout menu for the Spice Town speakeasy. I may have to put you on hold, dear. Just a moment. Osiris would be holding the most wonderful caramel flans. Reeds would be chicken wings, and cipher for twisted flax would transmogrify into warm straight out of the oven garlic knots right before my eyes. Well, not exactly. It's easy to see what you want to see. Seeing the tombs always made me feel quite simply famished. As the long days would pass, the murals would become quite simply delicious. Some say if you look at the hieroglyphs, you'll see some of the figures holding flashlights. It is 
possible that the Anunnaki may exist. But since the evidence is shaky at best, I am much more interested in the here and now. And if we apply the Drake equation, we will find the astronomical, no wordplay intended, dear, number of habitable planets in the universe. Yes! Now, given the fact that there are seven plus billion people on Earth, it stands to reason that he may be a real person. You may as well be asking me if I believe Brian Abernathy Fortenbright exists. I don't know, and further, I could only guess. Either way, if it encourages people to witness the marvels of ancient Egypt in person, it's good work, in my opinion. And some of us have thought processes that best resemble a piñata explosion at a sugar-fueled child's birthday extravaganza. Oh, no, dear, you mustn't let those things bother you. Some of us have keen observational skills and a rigid adherence to the scientific method. Well, unless they're sending us a bill, does it matter? Oh, that old gem. Yes, who cares? He's a good archaeologist who knows Egypt inside and out. He could teach you a thing or two, just don't pick up the attitude. Oh, Hotchkiss, why must you always burn the candle at both ends? Abdullah, that's what. He's a cold-blooded hotshot with only one setting. Success. Oh, sorry, I've also been helping my nephew break into the movie trailer business. Anyway, what were we talking about? Reading page after page is absolutely wreaking havoc on my metaphors. A colleague of mine has guilted me into editing her latest romance novel, and I must confess I cannot wait until the project is completed. Professor Hotchkiss, I'm dying to discuss your latest publication. His cocky ne'er-do-well smirk displaying his perfectly white teeth, but by the end he'd be sweetly holding flowers and saying, in chapter one, he'd swagger into the excavation site, the picture of a rascal with his dusty leather jacket and decidedly European haircut. He is. Oh, I am not an advocate of pulpy romance novels, but if I were, I'd call that an archibald trait. It existed the second I made it. Is he there with you? Yes, yes, I have. He is December on my men of archaeology calendar. Much, much faster. Although I guess I should stress that everyone dies much faster in the desert. Oh dear, everybody dies, but life isn't worth living if you don't take a few risks. Horrid molds and bacteria that have been breeding for thousands of years unchecked. And let's not forget the lack of structural integrity of most of the tombs. There are more pressing things to worry about. Most Egyptologists die because the desert is inhospitable and positively crawling with diseases. That's a little silly of her, don't you think? Curses may only be a figment of our overactive imaginations. Hotchkiss prank! Oh, you're such a good sport, Nadine. <laughs> I thought you were, Lily. True, but it was almost as if Nefertari and Ramses II had their own language. Who knows? I'll tell you this. I didn't have time to read all of the hieroglyphs, but I noticed that the syntax was a little, shall we say, wonky? To you and me, at the very least. There is a rumor that the tomb has a clue to the true location of Nefertari's mummy. There was something strange about QV-66. I think that might be why it is off-limits to this day. In my opinion, she's the opposite. She was obsessively preserved in the historical record, but it was her tomb that was hidden. Jealousy, revenge, fear that his reign would never equal hers. You name it, but you can't keep a good woman down. Despite the efforts of Thutmose Third's supporters, her legacy endured. Exactly! Twenty-some years of peace and stability, and after she dies, Thutmose the Third's ancient cronies try to erase her from the record. Hotship suit is the first. There are two queens I find most fascinating in ancient Egypt, and for exactly the same reason. They were hidden. I do. What good is the mummy without the context? It's the placement in the tomb that makes the mummy valuable. They only found kneecaps, which supposedly means that her tomb was robbed. The color alone took my breath away. We think of ancient Egypt as being a subdued sand color, but it was a riotous display with all the visual delights of a midsummer gelato shop cooler case. It was one of the most significant finds in archaeology. They call it the Sistine Chapel of Egypt. It's where my fascination with the royalty of Egypt was born. 
Still, the tombs have claimed enough lives to make a fool of logic. It makes no earthly sense, now does it? But still, it's a complicated issue. Oh, it's best you not concern yourself about that now, given your current location. Indeed not. That had already been discovered. They were searching for Nefertari's mummy. Oh, heavens, yes. It's deadly out there in the desert. Think about it. You're going out there in search of dead bodies. There must be a reason they're in favor of the area. Oh, yes. The team in which everyone died, is that the one? Hush, child. I have a delicate constitution and mustn't be contradicted. And the food, <gasps> red-eye gravy, shrimp and grits. Do you know that Southerners have 56 words for biscuit? The cotillions, the manners, the history. I must say, it has given me a case of the intellectual vapors. I found myself quite lost in the South not too long ago. And I must admit that I've got a keen fascination for all things Southern Gothic. For the same reason, I never carry my passport in my purse when I travel. Some things are too valuable to leave in a tempting place. If I were a gambling Hotchkiss, I'd say 60-40. They knew they would have to enact safeguards. That's why in 1904, when QV-66, the so-called tomb of Nefertari, was found, her body was not there. They foresaw a volatile future for their kingdom, and they were correct. I found records that they concocted a plan to be together forever, side by side. And relevant. The ancient Egyptians believed that life was little more than a dress rehearsal for eternity. They needed to be together always. They stood side by side and ruled the world. But as they saw the years stretch out before them, they were keenly aware that a handful of decades would never cut it. I'm talking about the kind of love you spell capital L, capital O, heart instead of a V, capital E. Look it up, dear. Ramses II and Nefertari shared a love so vast the world could scarcely contain it. <gasps> ah, a love story. Oh, break out the tissue papyrus because when I'm done there won't be a dry Horus in the house. Oh, dear. I sign and send lots of things. You found my book while you were in Egypt. Oh, the serendipity is as delectable as Chateaubriand smothered in lavender lemon juice. I am at your disposal. Egypt? Well, why didn't you say that instead of chattering away about my internet problems? Aha, now I remember you. If life were a good book, you'd be my favorite reoccurring character. Brilliant and fantastic. Oh, yes, Samantha, you are a ticket. I would love to help you, but uh, how do I know you again? I will do no such thing. That would be tantamount to murder. But now I'm starting a new book, and I can't focus on my work because the weather monkey keeps yelling the weather at me. The problem is that I downloaded this program called Weather Monkey. At my age, it's important that I keep abreast of all meteorological developments. Oh, you young people are so refreshing, always in search of new identities. Oh, Francine, dear, I'm so glad you called. I've been having the most infuriating problem with my internet. Hotchkiss here. Hi. Ahoy, hoy. Yes? Hello? Hotchkiss, leave a message. Thank you. Great! Who is above all the doors in the main antechamber? I need you to do some searching for me. I've decided to restart my book project. Can you gather some information for me? What is the statue of Osiris holding in the main antechamber? I found out what Sekhmet is holding in her left hand in the cat's tomb. I figured out what's strange about the mural above the main entrance. I know what's on the wall trays in the cat's tomb. I know how many vases are on the pedestals in the passage to the cat mural. I know what the statue of Osiris is holding. I know what the goddess next to Horus is wearing. I figured out what that cat has in its paws in the mural. I found out who is above all the doors in the main antechamber. It's Mott. Mott. Nephthys. Isis. I found out who is above all the doors in the main antechamber. It's... 
Mott, Nephthys, Isis. I'll go look right now. If it means you'll tell me the daughters' names, then sure. Can you tell me the names of Nefertari's daughters? Can you tell me the names of Nefertari's daughters again? Can you tell me the names of Nefertari's sons again? The path lies in destiny. I need your help with a riddle. Can you help me sort out some canopic jars? Great. Perfect. Thanks. And the children were mentioned in order, from oldest to youngest, right? Okay. Got it. I'm ready for the daughters' names now. Sure. How do I spell that? Can you tell me their names? Do you know anything about Nefertari's children? I need your help. The hieroglyphs here don't make sense. No, it's Nancy Drew. Still on the line, still in Egypt. <clears throat> Nancy, that, that can't be a real food item. I'm still on. Okay, that's strange. You said the evidence of the Anunnaki is shaky. What evidence is there? Same here. Is that a name you just made up? Do you believe the Anunnaki exist? With all of your work, I assume you'd at least care. Who cares? Have you heard of the theory that aliens built the pyramids? I no longer know. Yes, he seems full of himself. You're kidding me. Does that exist? Have you heard of Abdullah? That's less than reassuring. That's what I think. <sighs> the other Lily... Lily seems to be taking this curse business very seriously. I don't know how hieroglyph syntax could be non-wonky. Really? It is? How sure are you that Nefertari's tomb was hidden? And Nefertari? Stub. Why? I think I've heard of her. She was the pharaoh that was almost removed from the historical record, right? Why is Nefertari so important? You disagree? And you don't think Nefertari was entombed there? You mentioned an expedition that found QV-66, Nefertari's tomb. Still what? What makes it so complicated? What is the story with curses? What do you think happened to them? But this expedition wasn't searching for QV-66, right? Yes. Do you think that story is true? Have you heard of an expedition that went off in search of Nefertari years ago? I don't think that's true. I love that area. So what are you working on now? I still don't get all this business with QV-66. Why build a fake tomb? What are the chances we found Nefertari's tomb? Why not be buried side by side? That's sweet. Uh, what? What do you know about Nefertari? I didn't exactly find it. You sent it to me. You even signed it. I don't know how to respond to that. I read your book, and I thought maybe you could help. I'm in Egypt, and I need your help. Nancy, Drew, we've met a few times. <sighs> maybe turn it down? Maybe you should uninstall it? This is Nancy, Drew. It's Nancy Drew. Oh, no. <gasps> ah! Why did you say it that way? Abdullah's been pretty understanding to look past those accusations. You were involved in cheating or something like that. What happened when you were in school? Lily, look out! What do you mean you can't say? Is someone helping you? Why? Lily? Lily? Is that you? What are you doing? Were you following me? Dylan is in the hospital because of you. This whole thing with the curse. It was you. Do you know about the antiquities black market? Oh, we're going to be fine. Too late? For what? What happened? Sounds spooky. Are you okay? You seem pretty worried. He did. Did you know Professor Boyle was attacked? At least that's what the doctors think. A series of unrelated accidents resulting from subpar medical practices? No, I mean what really caused it. Do you know what caused the cave-in that got Dylan? Abdullah seems really harsh. Stub, stub. Right. Call it a hunch. I noticed that, but I don't think we're in any danger. Okay, I can respect that. Curses aren't real. You'll be fine. That doesn't seem like light reading. What's that book? I think Dylan was asking for you. Abdullah's really mad that you keep missing him. You need to go find him now. It's really important that you go see Abdullah. Abdullah needs you again. Abdullah needs you. You're the only one here with rhinestones. That means you were there. I found a rhinestone in a hidden tunnel. He wants me to have them. Call him if you don't believe me. 
I'm looking for Professor Boyle's notes. I look forward to being mentioned in many sixth grade essays. That's great. She'll need a new nickname? I found a gold coffin. We might really be on our way to finding Nefertari. I discovered a new part of the tomb. What? What did you think about being there to finally open the tomb? A mummy in the... There's a mummy in the coffin. Do you know anything about that? He'll be fine. He's just going to have a really rough few months. Not yet. What about the picture of you holding a snake? I saw the book. Why do you have a book about snakes? You said you don't even like thinking about them. I take it you're not a fan of snakes. There was a cobra on my bed. No, I took care of it. Sure. If you're so interested in Nefertari, why aren't you below? If he went through so much trouble, don't you feel strange about disturbing her tomb? Why not? Why isn't she in the tomb in the Valley of the Queens? Why isn't she in her tomb in the Valley of the Queens? Do you think this really is Nefertari's tomb? What's the House of Water? What's the story with a squiggly line symbol? Can you tell me what the symbols on the Senate board mean? Have you noticed anything strange going on? Well, sure. I can't right now. Sorry. Maybe later. Sure thing. Is there anything I can do? I'm not sure, really. It just sounded pretty bad. I have to admit, I overheard that argument between you and Abdullah. Are you okay? What's the board game in the middle of the room? I don't think so. Agreed. What do you think about Dylan? You said you studied curses. Aren't they just mostly hoaxes? Well, crazier things have happened. No. Agreed. Don't you think you're being a little harsh? Huh? What do you think of Jamila? Okay, I guess you have a point. What makes you so sure of that? I've heard the opposite. What do you think of Abdullah? How can you tell I don't believe in curses? I'm not. Why are you reading about curses if they give you the creeps? Say what? Do you think there's something to this curse? Did you see what happened to Professor Boyle? Is that necessary? Do we really need someone in charge? I can take care of myself. Sure, I don't mind. Are you sure everyone here agrees to that? What's that? Of course. Who would do that? Someone slashed the water tank. There's nothing left. I will. I can't wait until you can come see it. It's her. I cracked the code. I have big news. I'm on it. I found the real mummy. I think I found Nefertari. I didn't mean to offend. I just wish we could find out if they're interested in this site. If they are, all of the accidents would make more sense. Do you have any connections on the black market? Yes. There is. Do you think there's a chance that someone here is involved in the black market? How real is the black market? Dylan wouldn't do that. Oh, that lying liar. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. Dylan said guides often make their own credentials. Is that true? I think so, but I hope not. Lily did everything. I think she's just doing what Abdullah wants her to. Lily's been behind everything. The snake, the collapse, and who knows what else. I got to thinking. I was on my way into that tomb first. Dylan pushed me out of the way at the last second. What if the collapse was intentional and I was the target? Would it be possible to trigger a cave-in like the one that injured Dylan? I found a panel that makes the columns in the tomb move. You don't think that's true? Do you think it's possible that Abdullah just wanted to give her a second chance? Lily's been accused of falsifying her work. Why would Abdullah choose her to come along with him? You can't just leave it at that. The curiosity center of my brain is going to go into full meltdown. Why? What do you know about Lily? I'll be fine, I promise. No, I'm fine. Dylan mentioned that he was dropped off by a group of strange men who seemed to know their way to the site. But how could anyone else be involved? We're in the middle of nowhere. What are you thinking? When I opened the coffin the first time, it was empty. But when I came back, it wasn't. I found a mummy, but something was strange about it. Yes, it's some sort of cat tomb. Did we come all the way out here for a cat mummy? What do you know about cats in ancient Egypt? I was. Does this mean we're too late? I opened the last coffin, but it was empty. I found a new room. Huh? Yeah, really. 
He showed up when we found the tomb. A tour guide just appeared out of nowhere. Why's that? I wish there was a way to find out for sure which it is. Jamila claims that she's here for the aliens, but she has an archaeology book with her, and she appears to be pretty interested in the site. The whole expedition disappeared? Did that happen often? But if they were here, then this must not be the place, right? I think I found evidence of an old expedition here. It seems like an old diary entry. What sort of key? Just a portion. I think. I tried to translate some of the hieroglyphs, but they were complete gibberish. You still didn't answer my question. It was mentioned in an old journal I found. What do you mean? Have you heard of the daughters of Nefertari? No, Jamila. She's got a lot to say on the topic. Are you familiar with the Anunnaki? I don't think I've heard that before. How's the recovery coming? So, if he's confused, you sound surprised. Abdullah seems confused by the hieroglyphs in the tomb. Do you think he's behind your attack? He seems a little full of himself. What do you know about Abdullah? Why would she want to keep me away from your work? Lily seemed upset about me doing any work here. Got it. I'll see if I can prove whose tomb this is and find out who attacked you. Can do. But I just came here to job shadow you. Are you sure? Will you be coming back? Next to zero. So someone here attacked you. Why would anyone do that? What's the evidence? What? They kept talking about the old team that disappeared, and then they were gone. Oh, who cares? I'm just glad you're okay. I know, but that doesn't make me feel any better. It took the rescue team a while to get through the collapse, but they finally got Dylan out. He looked pretty bad. I hope he's going to be okay. A lot, actually. The crew left after the storm. Do you know anything about the gods of ancient Egypt? I saw something very strange near the tomb. I saw some really strange hieroglyphs in one of the tunnels you might want to see. I think I found a new area of the tomb near the main entrance. Oh, I didn't expect you to be so excited. I doubt it has anything to do with the Anunnaki. I opened the sarcophagus. Why did you lie to me? I'm not supporting what Abdullah is doing. I can't just leave Lily. I don't know. I need to go get her help. But I don't want to leave her here with him. It's Lily. She's been caught in a cave-in. We need to get her help. So you hid in plain sight. But why the fake aliens? Do you really believe all of that? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Then what? Stub. Why? You want to try me? I need to know right now why you're here. I have the authority to have you removed unless you tell me immediately. I can't believe he'd do that. I never really believed him. That doesn't make sense. Everyone here seems to be hiding something. I'm usually pretty good at knowing when someone is telling the truth. This is an exciting sight. Who wouldn't want to be here? Like what? Wait a second. I never told you about that. I still haven't found out. That's a big accusation. Stages? Why? You're here because of Abdullah, aren't you? This is from Lily, isn't it? I can't promise that. Oh, sure. What kind of agreement? You didn't answer my question. Why doesn't anyone ever answer my questions? Common sense. Common sense. So who are you here for? Abdullah or Nefertari? The truth for a change. I've seen Sonny's letter. He says you've never taken one of his classes. How do you explain that? You don't really believe in any of this alien stuff, do you? You really seem to hate Abdullah. Why? What are you implying? Why? What are you going to do? First you say you're here for the Anunnaki. Now you want me to believe this? Your mother was a member? Okay, why? Why don't you just tell me? I'm going to figure it out anyway. That symbol on your bag. It's how the group identified itself. You're one of them, aren't you? Who are the daughters of Nefertari? It's all over. I've seen it on the walls. What is this strange symbol on your bag? Then why pretend to believe? The water tank was destroyed using the discs from your bag. The water supply has been destroyed. Did you have anything to do with that? The truth? You're lying about the aliens. Then why are you spying on Abdullah? Why are you collecting information that has nothing to do with aliens? 
Do you really believe in aliens? Sure. Ah, this I gotta see. No. If we built the pyramids with the aliens, why did they all just leave? You didn't answer my question. Well, I couldn't help but see. Then why do you have an archaeology textbook? Are you interested in archaeology? What do you mean? How so? Except what? So you don't actually believe in aliens? All those things seem like human accomplishments to me. Oh, you're toying with me, aren't you? Then what? I'm still not a believer. What are these lessons you keep talking about? To be fair, neither do you. Met whom? The Pillars? Who is Sonny June? I've seen his name everywhere, but we've never met. All right, I'll bite. Why? When did you become so interested in aliens? I guess not. Yeah. What do you think of Dylan? Why do you have so many cameras? That is bleak. What will happen to everyone else? Earlier, you said true purpose of the tombs. What did you mean? Oh, that. Friend to the cause? How well do you know Lily? You don't think he should be in charge? What do you think of Abdullah? If aliens built the pyramids, why were human leaders buried inside? You didn't expect me to agree. I'm not so sure I agree with you on this one. Well, that makes sense. I don't follow. Taught what? Right. I'm not pretending. What are you talking about? Who are you talking about? A time like what? Are you worried about the curse? Why are you here? The what? It'll take more than a little sandstorm to get me to leave. I wish there was a way to find out for sure which it is. Whoa! 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 Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not now. Not just yet. It's over. Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> See ya. I'll let you go. Goodbye. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. I'd better get going. Bye. I'd better get going. The jackal amulet is missing. Did you have anything to do with that? Strange? How? I need you to try to remember. Is there anything else at the site that seemed strange? Fine. Maybe. No. Sure. Hi. Only because you deserve it. You do what you want, but maybe you should spend your time in traction thinking about which person you want to be. The one you pretended to be with me? or the one you're desperately trying to become. <sighs> you're being childish. Only if you're not good at playing the game. I want you to say no, and I want you to mean it. Are you going to keep trying to find a connection in the black market? Why not? That's how it should work, but people like you are part of the problem. That's illegal, and <laughs> it's just wrong. History belongs to everyone, not just people who have the money to buy it for themselves. She has proof. She has proof. Jamila says that you were trying to buddy up to Abdullah to buy black market antiquities from him. Nefertari, the reason you came here? Is your brain okay? I think I may have found Nefertari. Why gross? Guess what? I found a fake mummy. That can't be it. All right, if you want me to believe you, tell me why you were at the site. Why should I trust you? Why would she do that? Huh? They were pretty beat up. She said that that type of thing wasn't her forte anyway. So I helped. Lily had me help her with some amulets she couldn't identify. <laughs> Apparently, I'm pretty good at it. Lily wanted to say hello. I know you're worried, but I'm staying. I know you're worried, but... I need to stay. Do you remember what it said? Are you sure it wasn't just something you imagined? What was it saying? Okay. Actually, I called you. Oh, well, don't do that. Should I let you sleep? You sound a bit scrambled. I can imagine. I'm sorry. I hope you're not too badly hurt. Dylan, is that you? Are you okay? Any clue how a snake could have ended up on my bed?
Yes. What can you tell me about these guys? What did they look like? What language did they speak? This site is new. How did they just know the way? It's not on any map. We're in the middle of nowhere. You couldn't have just walked here. Where exactly did you come from? So, that's a no? Do you have any idea why someone would do that? Did you see who destroyed our water supply? How'd impressing Abdullah go? Hmm, I imagine he responds to people talking about archaeology. You mean Abdullah, right? What do you think about Jamila's alien theories? Very nice. Are mummies poisonous? Why didn't they write in English? Why isn't there a gift shop? Can I live here? That is not right. Ready. Oh, right. Well, you're a guide, and you want to work this site. Give me a tour. All right, let's see your guide skills in action. Why did you become a guide? Um, can I keep this? Yeah, you tell me. It looks like some sort of code. What's that? Do you think that's why she was never found in her original tomb? Why would that matter? Stub, why do you think it's a love story? You mean Ramsey's the second, right? What does that mean? Do you really think this is Nefertari's tomb? How can you prove you are who you say you are? Looks like you're making your own badges. You're not being honest with me about being a guide, are you? Maybe if you just whistle. Okay, first of all, none of those are one word. I don't know if that's necessary. Great. You're not going to tell me, are you? Why is it so important that he trusts you? Strongly? I'll see what I can do. All right, fine. The personal satisfaction that comes with being a nice person? I just do. I need your help distracting Lily. I know you didn't just come here to get a tan. It makes me think you might be hiding something. You seem very casual about everything. Isn't that a little premature? Tour groups might not even be allowed out here. What brought you to this site? You're being a little harsh. Oh, she's just different. What do you think of Jamila? She's under a lot of stress. What do you mean? What do you think of Lily? What do you mean? Do you think he is? What makes you say that? What do you think of Abdullah? But since you're here, you must not be worried about being cursed yourself. I have. Do you believe in it? Why are you so sure the public would want to tour this site? Why not? So archaeology runs in your family? Are you by any chance related to Howard Carter? Since you're a tour guide, can you give me any information about Egypt I might need to know? That sounds like a fantastic job, but why aren't you leading a tour now? Where do you give tours? What do you do exactly? Is the real reason you're hanging out here because you're not cleared to actually go into the site? You're out here because Abdullah won't let you into the site, aren't you? Because everyone else got sick of it? Boredom? Why? I'm a little busy right now. I have better things to do. Why are you hanging out here outside instead of going into the tomb? I'm Nancy Drew. Not to be rude, but who are you? Why are you here? You won't get away with this. The curse! It was you! Why are you so sure the public would want to tour this site? Abdullah could have anyone on his team, but he chose Lily. And apparently she's got a huge black mark on her academic record. See ya? Oh, but it seems the average student would be pretty loyal, given Abdullah's stature in the field. I don't follow. Mm, maybe. There's something strange going on with Abdullah and Lily. <laughs> Good point. No doubt about it. I just don't know if it's relevant. Lily seems very uptight. She says she's a member of the secret society that's searching for Nefertari. I have no idea. I really need to keep an eye on her. Yeah, she's got a bunch of material on Abdullah and the tomb. Jamila was lying about aliens. Cat sciences? Like what? Scratching post dynamics? We found a cat tomb. It's amazing. It's surprisingly lavish for a cat's tomb, I guess. I don't have a reference point, though. Soon. I just have to find definitive proof that I'm right. I found Nefertari. Thanks, Bess. I don't know if I can this time. I know. I'm just not sure what to do. He might be after me now. We're not out of the woods yet. There was another collapse, and Lily's trapped. I think Abdullah did it. The whole curse was a fake. 
It was Lily this whole time. So was there anything in that movie of yours about bugs being part of a curse? What if what is coming after me? Yes, I think so. It would have been me if he hadn't pushed me out of the way. The tomb collapsed. Dylan had to be rushed to the hospital. I need to know where it came from. Right. A mummy showed up out of nowhere. The bad news? So? Someone slashed the water tank. We're in big trouble. It should. Too bad not everyone agrees. Have you heard of the black market for antiquities? I know. Dylan said that he makes his own tour guide credentials. I'm still sorry about that. In my defense, it was for a case. His story isn't adding up. If he's a tour guide, why would he show up at a site that might take years to open up to the public? Fine, yes, he's moderately cute. And he has an accent. Define cute. I don't know what to make of this tour guide who appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> I say that a lot, don't I? I would, but there are two questions you'll never get a straight answer to. One is, are you lying? They're the aliens she's into, but I can't figure out why she'd be here now. I did. She says she's here because of the Anunnaki. I still think Jamila is hiding something. I'm sure they love you. I can't tell if Jamila's being sincere or not. What? Why? Who knows? The whole idea makes no sense to me. She thinks that this site has some sort of significance to aliens, and they'll be returning soon. Jamila seems to be convinced that aliens built the pyramids. I don't think that would be all that common. I'm really having trouble decoding the hieroglyphs here. Hotchkiss, of course. Oh, Bess, you're a genius. I need help with this strange riddle that involves Nefertari's kids. I found a really strange panel that makes the entire site shake but I have no idea what it's actually doing. No, I mean, really, for real. I think this might really be Nefertari's tomb. Okay, continue. Is this going to be an anecdote where someone dies in a cursed tomb? I can't until John's back. I just need to keep my head on straight and try to keep the site in order. Bess, no clue. It's like I'm the only one here who doesn't know what's really going on. I don't like that feeling. Yes, but when I opened it, Two strangers showed up. We found the tomb. I'm not sure what to do. I guess I never thought of it that way. How? What? So she can be reunited with Ramses II. The members learn of their duty once their mothers die. Then they join the search. Can you imagine that? Apparently, it's the ancient organization descended from Nefertari's daughters that's been searching for Nefertari. Have you heard of the daughters of Nefertari? I wouldn't admit it to anyone but you, but my gut instinct says find the mummy and get far, far away from here. Because, I don't know, I can't prove it's her. I think Lily was behind the snake. She spends the most time in the tent. It could be her. You, Dylan, Lily, Jamila, Abdullah, no... I think someone put it there. I know. I found a cobra on my bunk. Everyone in the movie dies, right? Bess, is this the best movie to be telling me about right now? And I don't think I can actually leave. We're alone out here. The crew took the vehicles when they evacuated John. From the way they reacted, I don't think they're coming back. Between you and me, it would seem like a smart move. It's just... <sighs> I don't understand the difference. So I've been supposedly cursed. I will. There was a sandstorm, and the professor from Kingston had to be taken to the hospital. Good, I think. Maybe bad. Hi, Bess. She sure seems determined to stay. What does that say? Oh, if I can just get this light to turn back on. Who is that? Who is that? I think we found the tomb. Six, four, two... Very old sandwiches, ancient Egyptian kitty litter, a comb and a jingle bell, stub, maybe later. I'll go look. I'll call you back when I find out. Reeds, a flail, an onk, a hoopoe, a falcon, a duck, a cat, a crook and flail, a spear. Don't move. Help is on the way. John, are you okay? It has strange alien graffiti. It seems to have been touched up recently. What isn't weird about it? Lily? Lily? Are you okay in there? Lily? Are you okay? Stub. 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 Hair. A snake. A vulture headdress. Mmm. Mmm.
Yum. Mm, this is wonderful. Why? Why would you do this? This is how you got into City Hall to start the fire, isn't it? You've been using these tunnels to get to the stories first. Brenda! I didn't. I don't know what's happening. Of course not. I would never... No. What do you mean work alone? I didn't do anything. I didn't. Stub. But why frame me? A key? Is there a second exit? There's another door up there. I need to find a way to climb up to that ledge. I can't use that now. This is not the best place to make a call. Can't use my phone here. If I can remove five more of these rocks, you should be okay. Let's see if destiny really is the path. This looks like a map of the site. I need to figure out how to use this first, otherwise I might break it. Stuck! Oh, there must be a way I can make it to that door. I'd better listen. What is Jamila up to? More platforms. If I can create a path to the other side fast enough, I'll be able to escape. You'll have to catch me first. I better not make any mistakes. Time to use what I've learned about Nefertari's children and hieroglyphs to figure out the order. What was that? It sounds like it came from the entrance. This looks important. And this must be Nebatawi. This is Hanutawi. This must be Merit Amun. This is Meriatum. You must be Merier. This is Pareher Wenemef. Got it. This must be Amun Herkeplashef. There must be something around here to explain this. The flashlight isn't working. I better find something else to light the way. I need to see if I can find something that will help me solve this. It looks like something is missing. Flashlight's dead. I'll need to find another light source. That jackal symbol is at the beginning and end of this passage. There must be something special about it. It looks like the red scarab is missing. I need to find a way to light the oil. I need to light the oil. Nefertari! Could this be true? Looks like I need to find out who the four sons of Horus were. That's nice and cryptic. This could be about the queen's children. I need to figure out what this means. There's another tomb in here. I need to figure out how to open it. That's not good. A threshold to a hidden area, perhaps? I threw it too. What does that mean? I'd better find a safe place to keep the cobra before I do anything else. I bet I could translate that. My dictionary could help translate that. Is it my imagination, or did the columns move? I need to find the right tool to clear this away. Your turn. I'm stuck. Hmm, guess I'm stuck. I can't make a move. Can't do that. Can't do that. Are you okay? Cool. Ancient Egyptian phone charms. I was hoping those existed. Stub. What am I missing here? Bad job, tomb. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't make any sense. Crazy. Why doesn't this area translate? I need to find something to help translate that. I need to find a dictionary to translate that. A cobra. There's not much fuel. I'd better save this for lighting things on fire. It's too dark. I need to find something to light the way. Ah! Oh, <laughs> guess lurking around a cursed tomb has made me a little jumpy. There must be a special order to pressing these. I need to figure out what it is. If I combine what Lily said with John's notes, I should be able to figure this out. These look just like the symbols from Lily's game. I should talk to her about it. Whoa! What just happened? I should see if I broke something. Why would an alien expert need an archaeology textbook? That's not good. Now I have to know what the rest says. Never enter where? I need to figure out the names of Nefertari's children to make sense of this. This section doesn't make any sense. How odd. Someone else has been down in these tunnels recently. It's stuck. One of these was used to puncture the water tank. I'd better plan this out carefully. If I can't outsmart him here, I'm never going to make it out alive. The panels are connected. For every move I make, he has to make one. Now it's not working. What's happening? The stones come up from the floor when the colors match. I need to open this. All clear. It looks like something is supposed to be placed here. Almost clear. It's a blue cat, just like in Jamila's notes. I need to clear this stuff away from it. It fits. 
Now, what exactly does it do? I'd better translate that first. I need to figure out what the hieroglyphs are saying. I should look around for a clue to solve this. I should look around for a clue to solve this. Blue cat opens tomb. I should look around for something like that. Let's see what this spells out. That's not it. Wait, maybe if I look at the first letter of each word and see if that says anything. I think these letters will create words below. If I can remove some of the pressure, I may be able to buy you some time. That should hold. Stay still. I'm going to find you some help. Hmm, maybe the color has something to do with the solution. That's it. Now if I only knew what it meant. If I rearrange the pieces, I should be able to figure out what this means. I need to rearrange the pieces so the bottom reveals the hidden message. It looks like a hieroglyph appears in the bottom row when the column contains only one type of hieroglyph. These must be the Queen's titles John mentioned in his notes. I wonder what these mean. What is this? What is Jamila actually up to? This is a match to Lily's sunglasses. What was she doing sneaking around in the tunnels? This doesn't look like an antique. Someone has been sneaking around down here. This is approximately where the other amulet pieces were found. This must be the bird mural that was mentioned in the journal. Oops, it's still sealed. Can't open it, it's locked. These must represent Nefertari's children. Maybe if I knew more about them, I could open this. I need to figure out what these symbols mean before I do anything. I'm stuck. There'd better be another way out. I can't believe that actually worked. This should help with the snake, right? I'd better find a safe place to put the snake. If I don't capture the snake, someone might get hurt. I can't leave until I take care of the snake. Who would lie about this? What happened here? Where's all of the water? Why would Dylan have this? Who would be crazy enough to do this on purpose? Where did they even come from? Rats. I needed that water to stay alive. I know that when life gives you lemons, you're supposed to make lemonade. But when there's no water, you're back to just having lemons. Oh, the tank is empty. There's no more water. It's all gone. <coughs> What's this mean? Hmm, what's this? If I had the right tool, I bet I could see if the thief left anything behind. I'd better take shelter in the tomb. This storm is intense. Why would he have so many certifications? This will keep the cobra safe and out of striking distance. I should search to see if anything was dropped here. Hmm, if you wanted to sneak something out of the tent without anyone seeing you, this would be the perfect spot to do it. A queen is buried here. I knew it. That's even worse. I need to find a tablet. I need to find a way to light this entire room. All the birds are here. I must need to press them in a certain way. I need to figure out what it is. It looks like some birds are missing. I need to find the one that weighs less. I need to decode the hieroglyphs. I'd better decode the hieroglyphs. I still need to decode the hieroglyphs. I need to figure out what the hieroglyphs say first. I need some fuel to burn first. I need to find a way to light this lamp. Mescanet. It must be the cat's name. I'm missing one. I'd better check that out. I need to sort these amulets by type. Got it. There's a piece missing. I wonder where the rest of the amulet pieces were found in the tomb. I should try to piece the amulet back together. It looks like someone was tampering with these wires. Someone cut the tent. I need to fully investigate this area. What? How could a mummy just appear like this? Oh, something is very wrong. Got it. Now to figure out what this says. All right, cobras, let's get you to your proper places. That is way too far. Uh-uh, no way. That is how Nancy's die. That's too far. It's the only path across. The hieroglyphs must mean something here. This won't do it alone. <sighs> Not strong enough. I need something else, too. If I could make some sort of lever, I bet I could use that hole and open the coffin. I wonder if I could find a way to light the entire room. I need to find out the names of Nefertari's children. 
I need to get the correct gods to their proper locations. I need to piece these together. That's not good. Nefertari. It's gotta be. Wow. Let there be lamp. I need to find oil for the lamp. A lamp. Great. I just need to find a way to get it working. It's empty. Wait. What are those? Another coffin. And it's locked. Ancient Egyptians did not mess around. Two coffins? Better safe than sorry, I guess. It won't budge. Must be locked. Okay, way too heavy. Can't take this right now. I need to translate the hieroglyphs. Whoa, I better not make any mistakes. I need to find the correct head. It fits. Now, what does it do? It's the same as the rhinestone I found. What was she doing out in that part of the tunnels? Uh-oh, I know that sound. I need to figure out where it's coming from. Oh, yeah. Congratulations to the senator from Egypt. Me. I win. Look out. Ha. Walk it off, Drew. That's cold, Lily. Hey. It looks like the lock only accepts a single rectangle or square around a light. The numbers must indicate how many of each light needs to be illuminated. I wonder what would happen if I used the numbers I have. That's a very complex-looking lock. I knew something didn't seem right. What? Why would Lily have this? Part of John's notes are missing. That doesn't seem right. What is Lily up to? Great! I could use this to translate the hieroglyphs. Playing this game by myself would be poetic, I suppose, but not very interesting. I bet someone would play this game with me. This game looks cool. Can we play? These numbers should help. Let's see if I can open it now. What a strange lock. There has to be something around to help me figure this out. Hmm, need a key. I just do. It's a special code. It's different from the rest. We have. That's what the inscription you're working on says. I found a gold coffin. It could be Nefertari. I still don't understand why you would want Lily to work with you. I found a new chamber. In the back of the tomb, I found a new room. I'm not going to say that. Maybe. So that guy Dylan is pretty helpful. I'd say he'd be a smart addition to your team, considering his talent, his experience, his... You know, I translated the hieroglyphs. <laughs> More like beginner success. Still, you could be nicer. Why are you so hard on Lily? Do you think someone could have put the mummy in the empty coffin? All I know is there's a mummy there now. What does that mean? Someone put it there? I don't know. No, that's not what happened. Why would the coffin be empty? Yes! I found a mummy in the coffin. What? How did you get into archaeology? Maybe aliens were involved. Are you talking about the columns? Do you think this has anything to do with a curse? What happened to the other two? What happened? That was a close call with the scaffolding. You don't seem very happy to have Dylan here. Do you think international teams have stolen artifacts from Egypt? <laughs> that seems a little harsh. You do? So he has a reputation? Do you know Dylan? Normally when people say that, they have more to say. Are you okay with her staying here? So I take it you don't believe in aliens? What do you think of Jamila? It doesn't matter. I know it's true. I don't remember. I heard that you're December in the Men of Archaeology calendar. Then why did you choose her to be part of the dig? That seems... dramatic. What does that mean? What do you know about Lily? Do you have any idea what that inscription means? Have you made progress? Did you find anything to say whose tomb this is? If I'm wrong and it's an accident, then no harm done. If I just assume it was an accident and let his attacker get away with it, who knows who will get hurt next? No, it's just a guess. I have enough. I think Professor Boyle was attacked. I know. Someone attacked him. That's what he said. Professor Boyle was supposedly injured by a lightning strike. But the medical reports state that he was struck in the head with a blunt instrument. What's going to happen now that there's been a major injury? But I thought you didn't believe in curses. And? 
What do you mean by that? What makes you so sure of that? Really? Then aren't you worried about being here? Do you believe in the curse? Wouldn't it be easy to get caught selling one-of-a-kind artifacts? Could this curse be someone trying to cause a distraction so he could rob the place? That's not exactly a nice thing to say. Well, I'm a curious person. I find that tact often gets in the way of truly getting to know someone. What do you do? Is there a market for stolen artifacts? Do thefts happen often on sites like this? I need a few tips for reading the hieroglyphs. Can I give it a shot? What are you working on? You didn't answer my question. Do you really care about teaching people or just about the exposure? Doesn't the world already know that? Well, she can't exactly see anything. She's dead. What will you do if we find Nefertari? What do you mean until the time was right? Is now the right time? This is small and unremarkable? Why would Ramses go through all the trouble to hide Nefertari away in a false tomb? Okay, but how does all of this lead to the lost queen? I can't lose anything. I'm the pharaoh. I guess losing what I have. What could I possibly want? I can't do it. It's too silly. Sorry, I'll try harder. I thought you looked familiar. Okay. Well, then won't I be able to become the best archaeologist in the world? Okay, go ahead. Is that how you think of the ancient Egyptians? Is it strange that some of the hieroglyphs don't make sense? Do you have proof? Why's that? A different mummy? Uh, nothing. Why is she lost? Who is that? Stub, Stub, who are you hoping to find here? Who do you think is buried here? So it's safe to assume this is going to be a major find? But that's what you think, isn't it? It's amazing, the amount of detail, the size. Well, someone really important must be buried here. What do you think of this tomb? But Professor Boyle is one of the best archaeologists working today. He wouldn't be getting in your way. Why not? Were you okay with Professor Boyle working the site with you? Did you two get along? What do you think about Professor Boyle? If there really is a curse and I'm ignoring it, then I guess you could say I'm pretty stupid. Oh, I'm very brave. I guess you'll have to wait and see. Oh, I'm not afraid of a curse, if that's what you're getting at. Is the scaffolding really that dangerous? Hi, I'm Nancy. Oh, you couldn't drag me away. But uh, if you don't mind, I'd prefer Nancy. Stub. The mural directly above the main entrance. Is there anything odd about it? Missing? Are you sure about that? I look into it. It's the curse. I know it. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sure. 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 Come here. Come here. Come here. What? 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 Huh? Huh? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Here. Here, take this. Thanks. Here, take this. Thanks. What's this? Okay. 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 Why don't you ask Abdullah? Why don't you ask Abdullah? Why don't you ask Abdullah? Why don't you ask Jamila? Why don't you ask Dylan? I checked in with John. It's the curse. Oh no, it's the curse! The curse. No, oh, it's the curse! It's getting worse. It's getting worse! Oh no, it's getting worse! It's the curse. What's this? What are you doing? I've got to see this myself. I'm fine! I'm fine! I'm still in here! What am I doing in Egypt? How did I get here? Hello? I want my mommy. <laughs> hey guys, I think I'm in the wrong game. Help me, please. It's not funny anymore. Get your game straight. <laughs> Hey guys, I think I'm in the wrong game. 
Help me, please. It's not funny anymore. Get your game straight. <laughs> what am I doing in Egypt? How did I get here? Hello? I want my mommy. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know how this could even possibly get worse. I hear someone moving. Is it a mummy? You're human. Knock twice. Do you know how many spiders there are in here? Ah, a million spiders! <laughs> are the credits moving? You guys forget about me! <laughs> What are you doing? Can I help you? And just what do you think you are doing? Get out of there! What are you doing? I'm the champion! You don't win because I win! I win! No fair! Rats! Back to where you came from! I'm sending you back! Bad news for you! Yes! Stay out of there! Whoa! You cannot go back there! Oh, help! I promise! Please! I'll do anything to stay! Please! I will never even come near your work again! I'm sorry, I didn't know! I'm sorry, I didn't know! See you! See you! See ya! Later! 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 Bye! 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 See ya! See ya! I'm okay. I'm okay! Can I help you? And just what do you think you are doing? Get out of there! What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here! Abdullah would have my head if I let you look through his things. Leave it alone! That's off limits. Stay out of there! Whoa, you cannot go back there. That's Senate. Come on, you've got to give it a try. You'll love it. Nancy, come here. Good game. Well played. Dark day for lilies the world over. I'm the champion! You don't win because I win! I win! Rats! No fair! No! Back to where you came from! I'm sending you back! Bad news for you! Another game of Senate? Let's start a game. You can go first. The last two are safe squares, so tokens can't be swapped. Landing on the square with the water sends that token back to the square with the ankh. Landing on this square sends the token back to the center square. Landing on this square sends the token back to the center square. The one with the ankh. This square is also a safe square. They can move past it on their next turn. All tokens must stop on the square with the bird, even if the throw would have moved them past it. All tokens must stop on the square, even if the throw would have moved them past it. This square is a safe square, and a token on this square can't be swapped. The square with the ankh is a safe square, and the token on this square can't be swapped. There are five special squares on the board each with their own name and design. If no moves are available, the player skips their turn. If you throw a 1, 4, or 5, move a token and then throw the sticks again. You can't swap places with a token and a block, but you can move past it. You can't swap places with a token and a block, but you can move over it. If an opponent has two or more tokens in adjacent squares, then they've created a block. If you land on an opponent, you swap places, sending your opponent's token back to your token starting position. You can move any of your tokens to either an empty square or a square occupied by your opponent. Let's say you've thrown a four. You've thrown a four. Then it would be your turn. I've rolled a three, so I'll move my token three spaces. When the token reaches the last square on the third row, it's removed from the board. When a token reaches the last square, it's removed from the board. Pieces move across a row and then down to the next. If all four sticks are dark, then you get to move five squares. One light stick equals one square. Two light sticks equals two squares, and so on. The number of light sticks determines how many spaces you move. The sticks land, showing either a light or dark side. To move, throw the sticks. The goal is to get all of your pieces off the board first. Don't worry about it. You could say that. I'm not going to talk about it with you. It was blown out of proportion. What do you mean? Ah! Even if I wanted to tell you, there's nothing you could do! I can't say. I'm not going to say. It wasn't supposed to happen. I just wanted him to leave. No, it wasn't! The ship made it to port, but the captain walked away from the docks, never to be seen again. Now you. 
they said. The captain woke in a cold sweat and ordered the mummies to be dropped into the deep. The next day, the men on the boat shook with fever so severe that they could not raise the sails. That night, they came again. They stood a breath away from the captain, gray eyes flashing with rage. The girl seemed very pleased with herself. This time the boy spoke. Plague, he said. That next night a terrible storm descended on the boat, and two men were lost at sea. That night they came to him in a dream again. They stood even closer to his bed. The first night at sea he had a dream. Two children, a boy and a girl with gray, lifeless eyes, stood in his room, watching him. Finally, the girl said, Storm. In the 1800s, a sea captain came into possession of two juvenile mummies, children. He knew he'd be able to sell them for a huge profit at port. Have you heard the story of the two mummies of the sea? Yes. First, it's illegal. That should be enough. Yes. I don't know why anyone would want to be part of that. No, we're not. Leave me alone, okay? Too late for us to leave. My phone doesn't work. All I want is to call my family and my stupid phone doesn't work. She told me that it was too late. It was. I had a dream. Nefertari was in my dream. Don't worry. He's probably just all turned around from the injury. There's nothing to worry about here. Don't worry. He's probably just all turned around from the injury. No one here would do something like that. Who told you that? The worst part of this curse is that I don't know if we'll ever really be in the clear. No. When the expedition ended, they started to drop like cursed flies. Madness. Diseases. Strange accidents. Call it what you want. This is the Carter expedition all over again. You know what happened to them? The curse. That's just how he is. I knew what I was setting myself up for when I came here. I have to see it. You did? At this point, I'd rather call it a day. I need to calm down. This is a huge opportunity and probably not a death trap. Right? And you're basing this on what? Previous experience? I haven't even started my life yet. I'm not tempting fate here, Nancy. I refuse. No. No more taunting the curse. At least not around me. I'm too young to die out here. I have things to do. I'm still in school. Why did no one tell me about how creepy curses are when I switched majors? Dinosaurs were bad news back in the day, but now? Totally safe. Mummies, on the other hand? I make poor life choices. I was originally going to go into paleontology, but no, I changed my mind freshman year. Curses of the World, the Compendium of Cruel Curses and Curious Casualties. It does have a lot of C's. Okay, thanks. BRB. Thanks, I'll be right back. And do not touch a thing. It doesn't mean anything. Leave it alone. So? That could mean anything. I will. Trust me. His notes are off limits. True. But Nancy, you need to realize that this is important. How many people actually get to be part of something important? Nancy, this, you and me, we're going to be in the history books. Very funny. But I do suppose you're right. What do you think about... The returned queen. I should write that down. Very funny, but I do suppose you're right. What do you think about Nefertari Reborn? I should write that down. I can't believe it's really her. The lost queen, and we found her. Do you have any idea what this means? I can't believe it's really her. The lost queen, and we found her. Do you have any idea what this means? You need to make sure Abdullah knows. Everything you find needs to go through him. You need to make sure Abdullah knows. Everything you find needs to go through him. I've got to go see this room. Something was in that room with me. Whatever it was, it wasn't human. At least not anymore. Don't go in there. I don't know what to think. When I was near it, it just felt... No, it's stupid. No, I heard you. I've got to see this myself. There's a what in the where? Nancy, what if I'm next? I'm... Maybe Abdullah was right. Maybe I'm not cut out for field work. I hope he's okay. Can you see if you can find out how he's doing for me? Oh, that's a relief. Uh, it's not real. A friend made it on his computer as a prank. It must have fallen in with my research material. It happens. I don't know what you're talking about. No one on earth is a fan of snakes. If it lives on dry land and does not have feet, it should not exist. Even thinking about snakes gives me the creeps. Well, I'm never getting any sleep tonight. I imagine you aren't either. That is crazy. You're lucky you didn't get hurt. Is it still in there? And maybe get a little FaceTime with a certain British someone. I'm a woman of science, okay? 
but the cursed thing rattled me. I need to do research now anyway. I'd prefer to do it where nothing will fall on me. Promise you won't make fun of me? No. Someone will do it eventually. If we get there first, she'll be treated with respect, and she'll truly get to live on forever. If someone else finds her, she'll go to the highest bidder. It's possible Ramsey's built a false tomb to make sure she'd be undisturbed. There are many stories of his love for her, but we don't know how true they are. Because her valuables were found, but her body wasn't. Doesn't make sense. We think she was hidden. Ramses II was known to be very protective, and he was very concerned about the afterlife. We think she was hidden. Ramses II was known to be very protective, and he was very concerned about the afterlife. There could be a lot of reasons. The worst case is grave robbers, but we really don't think that's the case. I really hope so. The House of Water became a powerful idea. It was the element the ancient Egyptians revered and were terrified of offending. In the desert, water is very important, obviously. But when the desert is creeping in, stripping away all of the grazing lands, that represents the house of water. Sure, and the house of Ray Atom, the house of three truths, the house of happiness, the special squares are the house of rebirth. Sorry, I really can't talk right now. I've got to figure out those amulets. Great, thanks. They need to be sorted by what they represent and by what power they had. They're on the table in the other tent. That's okay. I'll figure it out myself eventually. Yes, I need your help sorting amulets. This has always been the thing I've been worst at. Please say you'll help. I'll help you out whenever you need it, I promise. It was. He can be rough to work with, but he's the best. I just have to get better and not make such stupid mistakes all the time. You did? What did you hear? Senate! You've got to try it out. It's one of the first games humans ever played. You've got to try it. Then you are wrong, girl. Your eyes must be tired from looking at hieroglyphs all day. You're just going to have to trust me on this one. Then you are wrong, girl! Your eyes must be tired from looking at hieroglyphs all day. You're just going to have to trust me on this one. But if he stays out in the sun any longer, he's going to get all lobstery. Definite turnoff for us land dwellers. Although I do hate that I don't know why he is here, he is definitely easy on the eyes. Did we accidentally invite the whole world to this dig? With the exception of a decent work crew, that is. You're not going to care about the biology or physics of what's killing you. There's always a scientific reason for what really happened. But if you get some deadly disease or the world collapses on you, no, far from it. I don't know why Abdullah doesn't just kick her out. Okay, so you're nuts. I'll make a note of it and hide the sharp things. Good. Wait a second. I, I didn't even... Do you actually agree with her about aliens? I'm nowhere near as harsh as she is crazy. You could take that to the bank. The crazy bank. Oh, good. Finally, someone I can be myself around. I'm glad you're staying. No one can be that nuts. I'm still convinced we're going to end up on a hidden camera show called Suckers Talking to Crazies. When she talks to me, I always keep checking for the hidden camera. Thanks. It just bothers me when people are critical of him. He's sort of a hero of mine. Thanks. If nothing else, you have to respect his talent. A decade of dedicated study. I've studied his career. He's a bit of a jerk, but let's face it. When you think of archaeology, you think of him. He's the best. Say what you want about how he behaves. He's earned it. You're too calm. Do you know how effective curses are? They are deadly 76.42% of the time. You know what else has that fatality rating? White water rafting with a hungry bear who also has the bird flu and he's holding dynamite. You're too calm. Do you know how effective curses are? They are deadly 76.42% of the time. Do you know what else has that fatality rating? White water rafting with a hungry bear who also has the bird flu, and he's holding dynamite! Sorry, I'm just a bit worked up. I'm probably just being oversensitive. I can tell that you probably don't believe in curses, so please don't make fun of me. I know, it's weird. It's like if I can learn everything about curses, then maybe they won't have any control over me. Yes, I do. Even reading about curses gives me the creeps. I've studied curses, so look. Don't make me say it. I couldn't see a thing. I couldn't keep my eyes open for a second. Trust me. I just don't want the site to fall into chaos. I'm working entirely out of Professor Boyle's playbook. Yes, it is. But it shouldn't affect you all that much. I'm not going to go on a power trip or anything crazy. I'll answer that for you. No, you cannot. I'll answer that for you. No, no, you cannot. I'm sure you can, but can you take care of a site that's thousands of years old? Good. For now, you can look around if you want. Just don't screw anything up. I just meant the American team. Which is just you. Professor Boyle is gone, and I have to say this to keep things from getting awkward, but look. 
I'm assuming the authority in the time being. Good. We need all the help we can get. Look, this is awkward. Nancy, you decided to stay? Nancy, things are moving. I heard the pillars moving! This place is seriously messed up. Can you help me sort all of those amulets? I can't figure out those amulets. Can you help me again? I still need your help sorting the amulets. And she's back. Weren't you just here? Nancy, have you heard about Dylan? Nancy, have you heard about Dylan? Can't talk now. Not a good time. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Nancy, check this out. Hi, Nancy. Hello. Hi. Fine. I'd like to see you try. I'd like to see you bloody try. I'd like to see you try. I'd like to see you bloody try. I will not leave. You leave. You do not own this temple. If the discs were used, it wasn't me who used them. Maybe it was the Anunnaki. There is a mistake. I would never risk something like that. Water is vital to our survival. Even more proof that the Anunnaki were here? Some of these figures are even holding flashlights. Flashlights! Look at the eyes and tell me they're human. You can't. You want proof that aliens were here? Look at the murals. Goodbye, Nancy. Until later. Goodbye. Bye. You did? You never know. I'll have to see this room myself. You did? I know. I knew you were worth trusting, but I could risk nothing. This has taken too long, and I knew I'd never get the chance again. Stub! If you see Abdullah, run. There's another way out. Take this. And Nancy, if you see Abdullah, run. And you can't help her by staying. Go! Call for help. Take this signal box. Go above and call for help. I'll take care of Lily. Let me help her. If Abdullah comes back, I'm ready for him. This is no accident. Abdullah did this, didn't he? Exactly. Abdullah told the press he thinks alien followers are stupid. Stupid people are no threat to him. Yes. One day, I will have a daughter, and she will never receive such a letter. The search ends with me, not Abdullah. When I came of age, a letter came. My mother wrote it before I was born. She knew the search for Nefertari would probably kill her, that she was bound by fate, as am I. When I was young, my mother died. I was told she'd been in an automobile accident. Then she's returned to her rightful place, and we are relieved of our duty. Every daughter in my family must seek Nefertari, and only when the time is right will we be able to find her. He knew the land would suffer tyrants, that she would be at risk. He had to know that his greatest love would survive all of this. He had her hidden and called upon our bloodline, Ramses II. He knew the temples would be plundered by men like Abdullah. There is very old magic at work here. And I do not care what you believe. It is true, because it is my destiny to do this, or to die trying. Fine, Nancy. I'm here to see that Nefertari is returned to where she belongs. You do not. Never trust the cute ones. They know what they can get away with. I did. I just know. If he could provide tourists with one-of-a-kind antiquities, his business would triple overnight. He did come here to become a more competitive tour guide, just not in the obvious way. It does. The reason you couldn't tell he was lying is because he just wasn't telling you the whole truth. Dylan knew that Abdullah was an active member of the Antiquities Black Market. He wanted in. I thought the same thing, but I was wrong too. Please. The same could be said of anywhere. Dylan has been lying to you. Like your boy Dylan. Why do you think he was here? I have more proof than I need. I heard about it. People talk. It came from him. It's the truth. Where did that mummy you found come from? He dumps things he has into a site to make it more exciting. Because he's on the take. And he stages. In part. I don't like him. Then you will have to wait. Here, take this. The time is not right. Wait. You don't speak a word of this to anyone here. You don't speak a word of this to anyone. Ever. If you ever want to hear my answer, we'll need to reach an agreement. You're an interesting one, Nancy. Who says I'm here for either? I guess the truth is mine to tell and yours to find out. Fine, you've made your point. What do you want from me? Of course I do. What's gotten into you, Nancy? They lie and they steal, just for the money and the attention. These halls were built to exalt the pharaohs, not men like Abdullah. The land has been plagued by men like him, with it tearing out the soul of this country out of greed, and they do not care what they lose along the way. Egypt is not for sale, not any more. All I want, Nancy, is to return her to where she belongs. I am implying nothing. I will not allow you to get in my way. You have two choices now. 
You'll be one of us, or you will force my hand to do something I don't want to do. I'm going to see that she's returned to Ramsay's side. Now that we've found her, I'm going to see that she's returned to her rightful throne. Now that we've found her, I'm going to see that she's returned to Ramsay's side. To her rightful throne. When we find Nefertari, I'm going to see that she's returned to Ramsay's side. To her rightful throne. When we find her, I'm going to see that she's returned to Ramsay's side. To her rightful throne. I could not care less what you believe. I only care that you stay out of my way. Stub. Every firstborn daughter leading back to the 19th dynasty has been a servant of Ramses II. Every firstborn daughter leading back to the 19th dynasty has been a servant of Ramses II. Or at least, that was the old way. Because only the daughters of Nefertari can know our mission. And live. Shh. You are lucky you are dealing with me and not my mother. Watch yourself, Nancy. There's no such thing. What are you talking about? It's nothing. What are you talking about? That is my business. Leave me to it. No, I don't believe in aliens. Fine. I don't believe in aliens. What makes you think you deserve the truth? Nancy, what do you want from me? I do not have to explain myself. Now leave me alone. I'm tired of non-believers. Of course. Oh, that's a shame. They're an amazing sight. They're slender and tall and they're the most gorgeous, glowing, luminescent fangs. If you guys are screening my calls, I'm going to be very upset. Hmm. Venturin Anunakia. Hmm. Oh well, that's a shame. They're an amazing sight. They're slender and tall, and they have the most gorgeous, glowing, luminescent fangs. Oh, they didn't leave. They're all around us. Do you want me to call them? Why should I bother if you're so good at sneaking around? I am not angry. The Anunnaki value curiosity. You will not understand what you find, anyway. I'm not angry. The Anunnaki value curiosity. You will not understand what you find, anyway, unless you're searching for the Anunnaki, that is. You looked in my bag? No, I can't be the one to tell you. If you ever need to know, he'll find you. Sonny, he really is special. Right. Except as they were designed to look. But I had hoped that you could see the strings, and not just the puppet. A little. It is not for us to know what the Anunnaki have in store for us next. Anunnaki and postgrad. Or maybe we can bum around space Europe for a while and really find ourselves as a species. We will be graduating from the long course of human evolution. Just imagine what the next lesson will be. I think it will be plans to create a mothership to finally be reunited with our Anunnakian teachers. But look around! This temple is proof! There is no way all of this could have been built without their help. Once we catch up, we'll join them. They have hidden thousands of secret lessons for us. From vaccines to the cotton gin to mass production, they've slowly taught us to catch up to where they are now. True. The Anunnaki. He's spoken to them. He knows that they're on their way. You don't make this easy, do you? I can't explain it all to you. Not now. He's special. He's met them. He's one of the pillars. Because it was a rude thing to do. And they wanted no part of it. Did you know that aliens were there at every major human milestone, with the exception of the moon landing? Sunny June. I took his Are You Alien or Alien Out course. Changed my life. Oh good, that's a relief. Did I have to have an opinion of him? The tour guide. Good thing I have digital, too. I should get coloured markers, just in case that doesn't work either. These are momentous times. When the Anunnaki return, I'll be here to document it. I wonder if they show up on film. <laughs> I know, right? That is why I tried to get Lily to embrace the Anunnaki. She does not care. The blue light of the earth will go dim in the night sky. But for those who do not pass the test, there will be war and famine. The earth's rage will overcome them and they will fall. And when we master all these lessons, they will return to the temples and they will take the most enlightened among us with them. The Anunnaki had much to teach us. Too much. They hid the secrets on earth. I've been trying to teach her about the true purpose of the hidden tombs, but she's not receptive. You know, rolling out the red carpet for our celestial others. I like Lily. She's not a friend to the cause, but I can look past that. I don't think he's capable of being in charge. He doesn't even believe in the Anunnaki. Not much. He talks always like there is an audience near. But what audience would listen to such a tedious man? I say let him think he's in charge if it makes him happy. 
They were not just rulers on Earth. They were the Chosen, the favourite of the Anunnaki. Most people take a little convincing. It does. They brought us to the next level of consciousness, and in return we built them the pyramids. And there they met the Anu... the teachers. One night, our ancestors saw the sky catch fire, and the brave ones left their caves and walked into the light. We cowered and dug down into the earth, but one thing of all humans, we are curious. To be human, we didn't just figure that out. But for millennia we lived in caves, terrified of the very earth, of fire and wind and lightning. Here we were born, and like all infants, this is where we were taught. How could you not know? This is the cradle of civilization. Nancy, they can't hear you. You do not have to pretend. The makers, the original architects, they're watching. Who could be worried about a curse at a time like this? Well, I can't exactly be there, now can I? That would make no sense. Oh, blast! I said it again, didn't I? I'm Jamila, by the way, but if anyone asks, you haven't seen me. Nancy, what's the matter? What happened? I should not have even spoken their name. Disregard that. <laughs> I didn't mean to say Anunnaki. Shh! Do not tempt the Anunnaki. The sandstorm did not scare you away. Nancy, what's been going on? Back so soon. Nancy, hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, Nancy. <sighs> That's that. Now, come on, Nancy. I'm dying to see Nefertari. Talk to you later. Catch you later. Bye. Someone with a little water secreted away, I'd bet. Don't panic. I'll see if I can get some dropped. Until then, take it easy. Dehydration can set in quickly. I don't want to bring down the mood, but keep this to people you trust until I get there. Oh, you have no idea how huge this is. Nancy, wonderful job. How big? Yes! Oh, nicely done! Uh, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have to find proof that it's her. Of course not. Those men are... they're dangerous. If they are involved, I don't even want to think about it. There's no reason to think that. For trafficking antiquities, very real. You want to bet your life on that? When people feel like they can get away with anything, they change. Nancy, don't. Be cautious. You're in the desert. Don't put anyone in a position where they feel like there's no other choice but to make you disappear. No. I'm on the road now. I'll get there as soon as I can. Whatever you do, I don't know. Just find a way to stay safe. Does he know you're on to him? What? I can't hear you. I'm on the road. It's... It's possible. Yes, easily. I wouldn't recommend it. Too much of that and you'll bring down the whole tomb. Why do you ask? Amazing. Simply amazing what they were capable of back then. Look around. See if there's anything out of reach. Maybe that panel is the key. Nancy, I don't want you to carry my bias. Keep a keen eye on her and everyone and everything at the site, for that matter. Maybe. He could see something in her that I don't. I have no clue. I can't, Nancy. It wouldn't be appropriate for me to talk about it. I never say a critical word about a student, but uh, the archaeology community is small. People talk. <laughs> I guess all I'm going to say is it's surprising Abdullah put her on his team. Not much. She's with Abdullah's team. It's just... Strange that she's out there. Okay. If you change your mind, call me immediately. Think it over. I'm the one who should be there and I'm not. Uh, and as much as I care about keeping this site safe, it's not worth putting you in danger. Nancy, you don't need to stay. I can make some calls to Kingston. We can get you out of there if you're worried. The only people who know how to get to the site are you and me. And whoever Abdullah, Lily, and Jamila have told. There's a lot of money in the antiquities black market. Very often, money attracts dangerous characters. Which means that the black market is involved. That I need to be there. 
When things disappear, that's theft. When things appear, that usually means someone is staging the site. That's bad. How so? Cats were sacred to the ancient Egyptians. From Bastet and Sekhmet to the average house cat, they were absolutely revered. If you found Nefertari's cat, she must be here. No, no, Nancy, this is fantastic news. Uh, don't get too excited, but this might be just the thing we're looking for. Did you find something with a lot of cats? Did you find something with a lot of cats? What did you find? Perfect. Tell me all about it. You're getting close. Keep it up. Keep good mental notes. I wish I was there. You're doing a great job, Nancy. Great! Normally we wouldn't approach a new site like this, but I need you to know the exact condition everything was in. If anything goes missing from this site, I want to know. Well done. Keep pushing forward. No, the entire tomb is a riddle. If the mummy was easy to find, then I'd start to worry we were at the wrong place. I'm not surprised. Fantastic! I need you to explore everything. If something goes missing, if something shows up, you need to make a note of it. Until I'm back, you're our only hope at keeping the site in order. Uh, sorry. I'm not used to watching this much television. It's doing strange things to my brain. Whatever he says, he didn't just drop in. He must be up to something. You're 100 kilometers outside of Cairo. That's too far afield to have a wacky next-door neighbor. Really? If she's lying about why she's there, that's trouble. Same here. The best bet is to keep a close eye on her. Frankly, if she's not an alien believer, I want her at the site even less. Could be a coincidence. Or she could be lying to you about why she's there. Uh, more often than you'd expect. Archaeology is deadly work. Not necessarily. No one knows what happened to the expedition. Keep that safe. There are records of an expedition leaving England in search of Nefertari's tomb. This was after she wasn't found in QV-66. Her supposed tomb that was found in the early 1900s? Oh, it could be anything. Take a good look. If something sticks out, see if you can find the same pattern elsewhere. Good. Isolate that part that doesn't translate. Look for a key. The whole wall or just a portion? Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Supposedly, they're searching for Nefertari, too. But that's all I know. I wasn't even sure if they were real. This is amazing. We're on the right track. We must be. I'm going to get there as soon as I can. It's lore. And not popular lore at that. Where'd you hear about it? Yes. But I'm surprised that you have. Humans have made a mess of so many things. Just let us keep that check mark in the victory column. Ah, oh, good. I'm not saying there isn't alien life, but why insist that aliens built the pyramids? Oh, please, not you too. Truthfully, I'm still feeling a little woozy. As soon as I can stand without feeling dizzy, I am on my way back to the site. Even if I have to sneak out of here. It's true. I find myself yelling, test your hypothesis before acting on it, at all of the sitcoms. Good. I am at the point where watching television is tedious again, so that's a good sign. TV is very frustrating for the solution-oriented personality. Then it is confusing. He's one of the brightest minds in the field. If he's stumped, something unique is going on here. <laughs> Astonished, dumbfounded, with a twist of smug thrown in to soothe my ego. Really? I don't think so. This isn't the first time we've butted heads. I'd think that if he were to attack me, he wouldn't sneak up from behind. <laughs> a little. With that amount of swagger, you'd think he invented sand. Mm, he's almost as brilliant as he thinks he is. I have no clue. If she wants to play at being in charge, let her. It'll save you a lot of headaches. <laughs> Show me a Ph.D. student who isn't upset about something, and I'll build you your very own pyramid. The medical team is here. I'd better go. Take care. Don't go accusing anyone of attacking me. It's too risky. Keep everything you find between you and me. The less you seem to know, the safer you'll be. Until then, 
Keep me updated on what you're seeing. I've got some notes in my bunk area. Get caught up to speed. As soon as they release me. Nancy, you're the only one I can trust now. I need you to be my eyes and ears until I can get out of here. I'm known to run a tight ship. No one steals, no one cheats. It's not exactly a popular position. I was struck twice in the back of the head with a similar amount of force. The chance of that happening? Well, the docs here say there's reason to believe I was attacked. About that... Good. Now, for years I've pictured what it would be like to finally find the Lost Queen... And at no point did I picture myself in a hospital bed. I'm sure he will be, and there's nothing you can do about it. Hi. Nancy, hello. Hi, Nancy. Nancy, what have I missed? You've reached the voicemail of John Boyle. I will be out in the field and out of cell phone reception for the next two weeks. Please direct all queries to my email address for the time being. Thank you. Yes. 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 Sure. Sure. No. No. Absolutely not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sure. Come here. Come here. Nancy, come here. What? 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 Here. Here. Take this. Thank you. Thanks. What's this? Why don't you ask Abdullah? Why don't you ask Abdullah? Why don't you ask Lily? Why don't you ask Dylan? What are you doing? Get out of there! It's beautiful. God, it's magnificent. Wow. No, this was not supposed to happen. No, I never agreed to this. No one was supposed to be hurt. Absolutely not. Yes. No, this was not supposed to happen. No, I never agreed to this. No one was supposed to be hurt. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's magnificent. Wow. Absolutely not. No one was supposed to be hurt. No, I never agreed to this. No, this was not supposed to happen. Great! Near the sarcophagus, the goddess next to Horus is wearing what on her head? Great! Of course I have a water bottle. And no one is emptying this thing out but me. Ow! Listen, it's very fortunate. Testing! Testing! Hello! Hello! Hi! Oh, can you hear me now? Listen, I need to tell you something very important. A truckload of rocks will do that. And a truckload of rocks. Yeah. I have. I've done it. I did it. I did it! No. I'm here. I'm here. Hello. Hello. Test, test, test. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Can you still hear me? Yes? Okay. Still, still romantic, okay. Or as romantic as a story that involves embalming can be. Which is not very... I don't know why anyone would ever do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> what, straight up? <laughs> uh, okay. How, how are things? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Right, this... Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. I'm still talking. I'm talking, 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 talking. Woohoo! I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm talking. Hello. 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 Okay. Well, this might be the next it spot. If it is, I want to have the first tour up and running. I did it again, didn't I? Did, 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 I got the little growl at the end of it, didn't I? <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I'm different. She's a crazy little robot to drift in. She's a crazy little robot to drift in the far sea of insanity. Was that too? Was that too comical? Okay. Never mind. I've got something here. Fine. Yes. Whatever. The type of torch you put batteries in. Please. Yes, you do. I saw you holding one earlier. Blast. It's absolutely black as pitch in here. Pass me a torch, would you? No. Ah! I've got this. Can't let you go first. You never know what dangers lie beyond. Brilliant! Ah! Let me. It could be booby-trapped. I've got this. Can't let you go first. You never know what dangers lie beyond. Here! 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 Shh! 
Sure. 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 Hi. 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 Bye. 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 Bye bye. Thanks. 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 No. 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 Yes. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. 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 Ask Abdullah. Ask Abdullah. Ask Abdullah. Ask Jamila. Ask Jamila. Ask Lily. No clue. No clue. I can't talk right now. I can't talk right now. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave it alone. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What? 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 That's good. I think I'm safe for now. Go get help. That's good. I think I'm safe for now. Go get help. Yes. If you keep doing things like that, I won't die. Ah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's better. Yes. Yes, that's it. That's better. Not like that. Not like that. No. Not like that. Not like that. That's wrong. No. Not like that. Not like that. That's that's wrong. Could you just shift it a bit so you can get the pressure off? I must say, I'm very shocked, Nancy Drew. Stay out of that, would you? What are you doing? Fine. Yes. Whatever. The type of torch you put batteries in. Please. Yes, you do. I saw you holding one earlier. Never mind. I've got something here. Blast! It's absolutely black as pitch in here. Pass me a torch, would you? Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Never mind. Everything's a problem. Call the hospital. It's okay. Everything's fine. Stop. Whatever you're doing is causing it to cave in more. Bye. Bye. Bye now. Later. 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 I'll be seeing ya. I'll be seeing ya. I'll be seeing ya. No, I didn't. I wouldn't even want to touch one of those creepy things. One second, it would be empty, and then she'd reach down into it and pull something out. It was like a really bad magic trick. I don't know if my memory could be trusted right now, but I do remember something strange about Jamila and that weird bag of hers. I can handle maybe. Since you know that I'm an optimist, what you just said was yes. I won't take no for an answer. I can't bear knowing there is a beautiful sleuth somewhere in the world who's deeply disappointed in me. Just say maybe. Thanks. Okay. I'm going to fake hanging up again. Bye, Nancy Drew. Click. Thanks. Uh, okay. I'm going to fake hang up again. Bye, Nancy Drew. Click. This is silly, but I would like to have you come on one of my tours when I can walk again. Will you? Didn't expect you to call again. I guess you'll have to call me up once I'm all better to see which person I've decided to become. And you're being cruel. Ouch. The only reason I'm not hanging up on you right now is because I'm in traction and I don't know how. So, click. Do. I can't. I can't give up being a guide, but it just doesn't pay. Sometimes you have to break the rules to play the game. What do you want me to say, Nancy? I don't have enough money. Anyway, Abdullah wasn't interested. I didn't go through with it. That's just not how it works. Look, yes, okay, I did, but well, that's not true. You want my advice? You get it documented and get out. I've got a bad feeling about things now. Kidding, kidding. And it's been better. Well, that's fantastic. I knew you could do it. Who is that? Well, that means someone had one of those laying around, so... Gross. Gross? It is. Look, maybe I wanted to get my name in the papers, but that's it. Times are really tough. People aren't taking vacations like they used to. I really am a guide. I don't exactly have a lot to gain from lying to you at this point. Maybe she wanted to distract you. Maybe she was feeling lazy. Well, that's her specialty. She lied to you. Well, that's not true. What do you mean, she couldn't identify? Oh, good. Tell her I say I... I don't know. I'm knackered. Make it sound good. What have you been up to? Then call if you need anything. It'll be nice hearing a voice that doesn't want me dead. Stub! Stub! I know I'm all turned around. 
But I know what I heard. Even if they would let me sleep, I couldn't. Every time I close my eyes, I hear it. You need to leave. That tomb is cursed. I'm sure of it. Nefertari's tomb is cursed. I'm sure of it. Something in an old language I've never heard before. Something ancient and creepy. When I was lying there, under all that stone, I heard a voice. A woman's voice. N no, I, I don't think so. Maybe your phone is backwards. Listen, I need to tell you something very important. Listen, it's very fortunate that I called you. It is impressive how much your body dislikes having a few tons of stone dropped on top of it. No, no, they think I'll die if I fall asleep, so I can't do that yet. I'll be fine, though, unless I fall asleep in the next eight hours, and if that happens, pff, all the way dead. No, no, they think I'll die if I fall asleep, so I can't do that yet. I'll be fine, though, unless I fall asleep in the next eight hours, and if that happens, pff, all the way dead. A truckload of rocks will do that. Amazing fact, courtesy of Dylan. Traction is bad. Just a little FYI. Courtesy of me. I'm in traction. That's pretty bad, by the way. No. Ow. Oh. Hey, Nancy. Uh, hello? Dylan's Tour Services. I must be off on an amazing adventure. Leave your name and number if you'd like to come along on my next trip. Hurry back now. Come back anytime. I'll be seeing you. Nancy, I'm starting to think it might not be so smart to talk about this. For you or for me. Drop it. Don't bring it up again. Nancy, I'm starting to think it might not be so smart to talk about this. For you or for me. Drop it. Don't bring it up again. I... I don't know. They just did, I guess. Oh, I, I caught a ride with some traders, if you must know. Nasty customers, but they knew the way. What do you mean? No one would be stupid enough to do that. Someone did what? Badly. He used some very inappropriate language. At least I think he did. It wasn't in English. Brilliant. I'll do that. Thanks, Nancy. Great idea. I'll go do that now. I very much hope there isn't another one. Not much. Subject change. Do you happen to know how a bloke like me might impress that cantankerous old curmudgeon down below? Or maybe one day you can see me give a proper tour. If my business survives until you can return. And that is how being a guide is done. Did you know that there is rumoured to be a very deadly curse awaiting those foolish enough to venture into the next room? Now quickly, let's go to the next room. Yes, exactly. And then I say, very good question. No one knows. And I change the topic and say something showy like, play along now. Ask me the out and out stupidest question you could possibly think of. It might be, right? Remember, no facts. Now someone will inevitably ask a shockingly stupid question. The site you see behind me is over 60 billion years old, and it was built by none other than the great Genghis Khan. Never forget to remind them to actually look with their eyes. People don't remember you can still do that. A little flattery will get you everywhere as a guide. <laughs> I am, he says. I could have you two on every tour I give. Now focus, put your cameras down for a minute. Okay, crowd in everyone, crowd in. Nicely done. You look excellent in that hat, Mrs. Johnson. Your husband must be a very lucky man. I suppose I could make a conjecture here or there. Okay, ready? I thought you'd never ask, but there is a problem. I don't actually know anything about this site yet. What? I don't know why anyone would ever do anything else. You would have had fun seeing the world with me. Admit it. Yes. But you have to promise me that if it starts making sense, you'll call a psychologist immediately and schedule yourself in for a full workover. <laughs> I like you. Let's shake the dust off this small time tomb off our boots and see the world together. <laughs> I like you. Let's shake the dust off our boots and see the world together. Woo, you're generous. I call it the maniacal screed of a madman. Or is it mad woman? Why is madness gender specific to men? Proof that space girl is batty. I saw her creeping around and she dropped this. Here. Or as romantic as a story that involves embalming can be, which is not very, if we're measuring. It's a hunch. Imagine, if Ramses had built all this in secret, loaded it up with riddles and booby traps and a deadly curse, all to make sure she would one day find him. It's kind of romantic if you think about it. He believed that if she was moved, she would not be able to find him in the afterlife. 
They would wander, searching for each other eternally. The day soon came that he knew death was drawing near for each of them. He saw how the people loved her, and he became very afraid that something was going to happen to her tomb. Wherever you saw Ramses, Nefertari stood by his side. She was the only one on earth who was truly Ramses' equal, and he loved her for that. I do? I mean, yes, I, I, I do. Of course. Strange life being a king. You get everything but your own name. She's why I'm here. As a tour guide, I love the sites that tell a story. And Ramses I and Nefertari have the making of a classic love story, if we can find her here. It'd better be, otherwise I'm very lost. I don't know if I can. Well, the whole process is less official than you'd expect. Everyone makes their own credentials. Ask around. It might look a bit sketchy, but that's what's done. Right. All good options. Oh, good point. What about danger, or incoming, or impending Lily? Right, right. Uh, how about look out, it's Lily, or uh, she's back, stop looking at her things. What should I do if I see her? W oh, we should have a code word. But I am a man of my word, i.e. trustworthy, so I will distract Lily for you. Oh, that's the spirit. Facing disappointment and not letting it get you down. Good show. It's complicated and boring. Boring and complicated. You'd be bored hearing about the more complicated aspects of it. Hmm, I see. Well, good thing that was but a single step in my multi-tiered plan. But make it sound natural. Don't just blurt it out. Finesse it into the conversation. Say something nice about me to Abdullah. Tell him I'm trustworthy. Nope. What's in it for me? Why? Well, that's true. The way I see it, life's an adventure. I go where the wind blows, and when it isn't, I just pick my own way and go. If I'm hiding something, then I'm doing such a good job, even I don't notice. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Well, then I took a trip to the place I've always wanted to see. No loss. This might be the next it spot. If it is, I want to have the first tour up and running. If it makes you feel better, I can pretend she's not insane, but then we'd both be living a lie. No, I'm different. She's a crazy little rowboat adrift in a vast sea of insanity. Is she for real? Because, wow, I've met some nutters in my life, but that girl belongs in a museum herself, with a little tag that reads, Insanus Totalis. They make you walk across coals to get your PhD. Right now, she's halfway across the coals. Terrible spot to be in. Just like my last girlfriend, very driven. PhD student, probably has a cramped apartment full of dehydrated plants. She's probably going to come off a little rough-edged. Cute, interesting, and not interested. She's definitely my type. He's close to being known the world over. He must have gotten a glimpse of what that would be like. I wonder what he'd do to make it over that last hurdle. You know... He's just on the edge. Well, who knows if it's true? He's either the best or the guy who says, I'm the best, the loudest. Unfortunately, either one of those two things works equally well. Sure, he's a tyrant, but he's supposed to be the best in his field. History's great pioneers always tend to be a bit prickly. If he didn't, no one would put up with him. If he wasn't so accomplished, no one would put up with him. He's got quite the ego, but I'm sure he deserves it. It would form some sort of reverse curse conundrum. I'd probably be unstoppably lucky. I've been gloriously unlucky my whole life. I don't think a curse could make things much worse. Of course I do. Surely you've heard of... the curse? Not exactly. The family didn't talk about him much. Not that we ever met. He was quite well established as a ghost when I was born. Ghosts and babies. <laughs> Try to bring those two sides to the table. THE Howard Carter? Well, as a matter of fact, yes. We are related. It's getting very competitive these days. I need every advantage I can get. Well, that's why I'm here. To be perfectly on the level, I have to be. Sure. Here. All throughout Egypt. As a tour guide, I show the world to those who want to see it. It's the best job on the planet, next to lion tamer or astronaut. But still, this place is ideal for catching up on gossip. And that is my trade. I was hoping we'd be able to get over that little bump in the road before that cat got out. Because we discovered holidays. Why take over a country when you can get a tan and take over a mini-fridge? That they did. You know why we stopped trying to take over the world? Because we've got everything you need. Except for the sun.
When you come to your senses, I'll still be here. You know why England tried to take over the world? Oh, you do not. Why aren't you hanging out outside? Brilliant! Well, good chat.、Uh, mustn't keep you from your duties. I'm Dylan Carter. To answer the question you didn't ask, but probably meant to, I could ask the same of you, but I won't. Well, hello, hello, hello. I've got something for you. I thought I'd be、um, better at whistling. <clears throat> It's、uh, really dry here.、Uh, sorry about that. So, did you tell Abdullah that I'm trustworthy? How did he react? Hello, hello. Dare to play. أمير العرب جاي هناك على على الخيل كي تجي أمير من أمير ما For 60 years, the grisly tale of the cursed team remained the only proof of the tomb's existence. The explorers were lost, presumed dead. The expedition never returned. A British expedition set off in hope of finally finding Egypt's legendary lost queen. Sixty years ago, a violent sandstorm uncovered an ancient tomb in the desert outside Cairo. Love, Nancy. Here's hoping that releasing an angry cobra isn't as much of a bad idea as it sounds. Well, I'd better go take care of that. Guess I'll be getting home a little later than anticipated. And I just remembered I forgot to let the cobra go. There's nothing like the end of a mystery when all of the pieces fit together and everything is. As for me, I'm happy to have had an adventure and delighted to be headed home. I'm looking forward to reading it just as much as I'm looking forward to her taking me off speed dial. Professor Hotchkiss has decided to revise her book to include our discovery of Nefertari's true tomb. I wouldn't be surprised if she and John end up working together for some time to come. Jamila dropped her alien act and soon proved herself to be a skilled Egyptologist. John has promised to have Nefertari return to her rightful place beside Ramses II, and Jamila has been brought on to assist with the entire process. Jamila was wary when John returned to the site, but the two of them soon hit it off. Hopefully, he's had enough of the black market. Maybe I'll check in on one of his tours to see how he's doing. Dylan has nearly recovered and will soon be resuming his tours of ancient Egypt. I imagine she'll be happier in a career that doesn't involve daily contact with mummies. From what I hear, Lily is currently studying paleontology. I guess he really did believe she deserved a second chance. She was initially taken into custody, but was released once Abdullah claimed full responsibility for everything that went wrong at the dig. Lily was rescued from the tomb unharmed. If you ask me, ancient and modern Egypt will be much better without him. John suspects when his case goes to trial, we'll be learning a lot more about Abdullah's crimes against archaeology. The police eventually arrived and arrested Abdullah. Dear Hannah, yes. If you keep doing things like that, I won't die. Ah,、uh, yes. Yeah. Ah,、oh, that's it. That's better. Yes. Yes, that's it. That's better. I'm still in here. I'm fine. Did everyone forget about me? I don't want to die in here in case anybody out there feels like helping. Help! Are you still mad about the snake? It's okay if you are. We can talk about it. Be a buddy. Help a girl out. Hello. <laughs> What bird does the cat have in its paws in the mural? Oh no! See ya. Bye. Be safe out there. Hmm. I could be wrong. If Lily's record is so bad, she can't exactly work for anyone else. Maybe he has a strange view on loyalty. It could be something weirder, though. Maybe.
maybe he sees potential where others don't? How so? Strange behavior is rarely irrelevant, especially in a group that isolated. Do you think she's hiding something? Cool, a secret society. What's her story? Why is she really here? Really? Clearly. Or, or it belonged to someone important, like Nefertari. There must be something very special about that cat if it's got its own tomb. Maybe it made a notable contribution to the cat arts and sciences? Is it wrong that I find that adorable? It is, isn't it? Of course it is. I'm conflicted. Good luck. I know you can do it. Nancy, way to go. Are you coming home? Buy me a soft pretzel at the airport, and we'll call it good. Nancy, be safe. I refuse to believe that, so you do what you have to do. I'm going to hang up now, you're going to be fine, and I will see you at the airport. You're Nancy Drew. Whatever happens, you can handle it. Then get off the phone. I know you. You get so focused when you're on the phone that you're incapable of running. What? Oh, I'm so relieved to hear that. I'm sorry I did so much freaking out. That probably wasn't helpful. And to think I was jealous when I heard where you were going. Stay away from them. They're probably all super poisonous. Yes, and it was too gross for me to even talk about. Wait, do you have a bug infestation out there? What? Who? I don't know, okay? I know you're not going to listen, but I wish you would just come home. Nancy, what if it's coming after you? You were the one who broke the seal of the tomb, weren't you? Of course you were. This is just like that movie. This curse is coming after you, Nancy. Oh my gosh, is he all right? Do you? Because no, you don't. You need to stay away from that thing. No, 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 not good, Nancy. Wait, you mean a mummy wasn't there, but all of a sudden there was a mummy there? The second day sounds really, really bad. Nancy, you need to get out of there. Two days. That's the good news. That's bad. How bad is that? Hang on. How long before you die in a desert with no water? Question mark. Of course. But why would anyone want to buy a piece of history? Shouldn't that go to a museum? I'd say push him for info. See if he slips up. He might be a fraud. That does not seem right. And in his defense, there's nothing. Long distance burn, jazz guy. Maybe he's some sort of avant-garde tour guide. You know, way ahead of his time, like that jazz musician you made us see who only played awful notes? Now we're talking. Anyway, you've decided that this cute tour guide with an accent is a problem for some reason? Why is this never any fun with you? I have no girly friends. Is he cute? You do. But to be fair, you do exceed the average person's daily allowance of interaction with crazy and or dishonest people. And the other is, are you crazy? Why don't you ask her? I still think it might be the phone, but continue. I think our connection is bad because it sounds like you said Anunnaki. What's the story? Go with your instinct, Nancy. You're so good at noticing what people really mean when they speak. Maybe she's saying a little more than she intends to. That's all I wanted to hear. Just brush past my theory. That's fine. Dogs love me. Kids love me. I just think we'd be pretty simpatico is all. I know it's unlikely, but I think if aliens ever came to Earth, I think they'd like me. Cool. What for? Cool. Then I'm out of ideas. Unless it's a code. Look for a pattern. Maybe it's a typo. Do you think they had typos? Like the builder meant to write dog eyeball pharaoh, but accidentally wrote dog eyeball eyeball pharaoh? Of course you are. They're hieroglyphs. Ha! Take that, standardized testing. Nancy Drew called me a genius. I'm stumped. Got an expert you can call? Take a look at the pillars. That might have something to do with it. Huh. You should try messing with that panel and then checking out the rest of the tomb. Maybe it controls something in another room. Oh. Oh! Nancy, that is so cool! You've got to stay there and see this thing through. Okay, I thought that's why you went there in the first place. I lied, it was, but I'll just keep it to myself. No, that's exactly like this one part of Revenge of the Desert Queen, so everybody... Well, it certainly feels that way. Maybe it's time to call this one a wrap. You get used to it. Okay, 
So maybe they were just out for a walk. In the desert. Nope. Doesn't work out. Nancy, what the craziness is happening out there? Stub. Really? Aren't you in the middle of nowhere? Way to go! Check around to see if there's anything to help you get a better idea of what's going on at the site. Someone should have left some notes around. John probably had some. Well, forget I said it. No need to get hung up on the sad stuff right now. You're in Egypt, the land of... Uh, I'm sorry, I still don't know much about Egypt. I'm sorry, Nancy. I shouldn't have said that. I just need to work on my filter, like George says. After your mom... I, I always thought it was your mom, the way she died, that made you so interested in mysteries. That's sort of like you. I mean, a little. Well, why? No. Not a bad idea. Trust your instincts. You know they're usually right. Why would she do something like that? Honestly, Nancy, let it go. That was a harmless little garter snake, and we were kids. Anyway, it was George's idea, I think. It seems Georgie. Hmm. I'd see if you can do a bit of snooping. She's off my Christmas card list. I'd try looking through her things to see if you can find proof. She's crazy, but is she send a message with a snake crazy? I don't know. It sounds like if he had a problem with you, he wouldn't bother with the Cobra Graham. Who do you think would do that? Is it still there? You guys are the interlopers, by the way. Nancy, I've been reading up on curses, and this is one of the hallmarks of a classic curse. Once the seal has been opened, the creatures of the desert get all riled up and turn against the interlopers. All of them. Even the last girl I was really rooting for because she really looked like you. I could maybe have left that last part out. Is fine. Every single person in the movie is fine. Life lessons are learned. Friendships forged. Romance is romanced, history learned about. And everyone gets cursed, and then every single person in the movie... So, this may not be the best time to mention this, but yesterday I couldn't sleep and I saw this movie called Revenge of the Desert Queen. What? Just what? Is it contagious? You can tell me if it is. I won't be weird about it. We can still hang out. I've always wanted to use those walkie-talkies George got me. Me neither. You have to come home. Supposedly cursed? Or supposedly cursed? Full disclosure, while I do play an Egyptologist on television, I have no idea what I'm talking about. George is all wrapped up in that new job of hers, but you can call me anytime you need help. Nancy, be careful out there. It sounds dangerous. Something happened, didn't it? Nancy! How goes the old mummy hunt? Nancy! Hi! Hi, Nancy. What's up? You never beep, phone. How am I supposed to record my outgoing message if I don't know when to start? I wish I had my old phone back. The world will not notice another mummy in the tomb. Good. For once, I do not have to explain myself to you. Unless, of course, you can't figure out what happens now. Nancy, why do you look so frightened? You are just seeing what you want to see. It's good. Means you care. But it's not proof. How? How do you know that? We still have not confirmed it is her. Yes. You're with John's team. I know who you are. You listen to me now. Your job? Do not destroy anything. And try not to get killed. Come here and meet me. Then you can fall to your death from the scaffolding if you want. Leaving so soon? No, no. I will get away. You will not. You should consider yourself lucky. You will have a beautiful tomb for all eternity. You will not get away! Be careful up there, Nancy. If you fall, try not to land on me. There are enough dead bodies in this tomb. Why add another? Be careful. Do not fall. I hate paperwork. Why are you so obsessed with tempting fate, Nancy? Get out of my sight! Get out of my sight! Leave now or I will remove you myself! Leave now, or I will remove you myself! You have no business here! Oh, Nancy! Nimshi! Yala, Nimshi! I don't get this. I don't get this. You will not make it far. I will hunt you down.
you got lucky. I will still catch you. Do not screw up. You will make a mistake, and I will catch you. I'm catching up. No, I'm getting tired of this. When the transport comes, you get on it. You are taking up space that a good student could be using. I want nothing to do with you. You will never have a career. Just leave. That is right you won't. You don't deserve to be here. Have the dignity to admit it. You didn't know. Ignorance is not an excuse. It is the problem. You are off the site. Foolish and irresponsible. You have no idea what you are doing. You have no idea what damage you have done. Leaving so soon? No, no. I will get away. You will not. You should consider yourself lucky. You will have a beautiful tomb for all eternity. The world will not notice another mummy in the tomb. Unless, of course, you can't figure out what happens now. Good. For once, I do not have to explain myself to you. Nancy, why do you look so frightened? Goodbye. 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 Mm, bye. 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 Don't let the flies come in. Shut the door. On the floor, out the door. Go. Do not break anything out there. Farewell. See you later. Goodbye. See you later. Bye-bye. Yes. 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 No. 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 Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Maybe. I do not know. I do not know. Ask Lily. Don't waste my time with this. Ask Lily. Ah. Don't waste my time with this. Ask Lily. Don't waste my time with this. Here. 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 What is this? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nancy, come here. Nancy, come here. Come here. Nancy, come here. I think we're good with that. Okay. What? I will go take care of this. Now! Everyone, get out of here. What is this? Look at the hieroglyphs. There is something very important here. We are close to her. Closer with each second. Well done, Nancy. You are very good at this. She is smart, and her downfall is being too ambitious. She is so much like me, I'd be a hypocrite to not like her. I must see this. Where? Your kindness is as admirable as it is boring. <laughs> Tell him he is stupid, but use small words so he understands you. He told you to say that, didn't he? Beginner's look. I learned to swim fast, not because I was taught well, but because there were crocodiles in the river. I learned to swim fast, not because I was taught well, but because there were crocodiles in the river. If she does not, then she does not have what it takes to begin with. May you be so lucky as to have a mentor who pushes you. I am not her friend. I am her proving ground. If she survives me, no one will ever stop her. Not ever. It sounds so cruel, right? There is something about this I do not like. It means placing artifacts in an empty site to raise their value. You think someone is staging the site? Of course you don't. I will figure it out. All right, then what did happen? The ancients were not above playing tricks on us. That cannot be true. There is one quality that all mummies share. They do not walk about. You missed it the first time. That must be what happened. The coffin? The empty coffin? I had opened the door thousands of years back in time. Ancient Egypt was down there. I have never again been the same. And it gave way. And you know what was there? But once I lowered myself down into the dark, dusty tomb, I felt a strange flutter in my chest, right here. And I do not know what overtook me, but I knew I had to push very hard on this wall. I was a student, like Lily. I went out on a dig one day, and it was a very, very small tomb. Inside, nothing remarkable. Mummies, no hieroglyphs. Very cute. I knew there was something about this site that didn't add up. This is unheard of. The technology required to move the columns. Does it matter? What do you think happened? I knew there was something about this site that didn't add up. This is unheard of. The technology required to move the columns. Five of us were eventually pulled out. Seven of us trapped under stones, big as automobiles. I've seen worse. Twenty years ago, we were in a tomb, a minor site. A guide, much like your boy Dylan, kicked over a support beam and crash! It all came down. 
I've seen worse. Twenty years ago, we were in a tomb, a miner's site. A guide kicked over a support and crash! It all came down! Good. I'm glad you noticed. If this were my site, like it should be, he'd be out on the sand with his hat in his hand, trying to catch a ride back to Cairo. And he would never find one, because there is no street. No, I do not think. I know. Not harsh enough. Every tourist thinks, what will it hurt? I'll just take one small piece of the pyramids. And they come, and they come, by the millions they come. And bit by bit, they smuggle our history back in their luggage. <laughs> They're worse than the museums. He is a very popular guide, for whatever that is worth. I do not like guides. They distort history and turn the other way, as sticky-fingered tourists steal every bit of Egypt they can find. I know of him. I do not. If you do not have enough faith in humans to believe that we invented pushing, dragging, and lifting without the help of aliens, you are terminally wrong and incredibly stupid. We will never agree on anything. Let me stop you there. What is to think? She believes aliens built the pyramids. She is a waste of my time. I suppose it doesn't. I gave her a second chance. Everybody should get one. If I find you in my things, you will be on the first camel out of here. Who told you that? Someone I fully trust would never be able to surprise me. She will go ping, flying off in a crazy direction. I do not trust her. The world moves on the back of dramatic lives. I do not think this is a good thing. Lily, she is like a spinning top. She stands straight, but the slightest nudge. Ambitious, young, smart. The ones like that, they achieve. Or they flame out in a big pfft. I've seen many like her. That's why I am here, staring at this wall. I cannot think if I am not working. Look at the hieroglyphs. They are not supposed to be riddles. And I still grappled with them. Sometimes for years. The actual riddles, huh, forget it. Look at the hieroglyphs. They are not supposed to be riddles. And still I grapple with them. Sometimes for years. This is different. I've never seen anything like this. We may find the mummy, but if we do not crack this before they come to shut us down, we may never know who we have found. We have found the mummy, but if we do not crack this before they come to shut us down, we may never know who we have found. I wish I could say we found the lost queen, but I don't know for sure yet. The answer is here. You are very shrewd. You are very shrewd. You do well in a dry climate. Do you have any evidence? Do not be so hasty. We don't know what happened. But it is best you be careful anyway. This is serious. No, that can't be. Usually it means we are going to be shut down. So now we work fast. No, I said curses have no effect on me. I am strong. Everyone else is a different story. Look at Lily and see what I mean. And I knew the fear of Antifi. A curse when it has you is like a strange sickness, a fever, and it never goes away. <laughs> the curse of Antifi warns, any man who enters my tomb, I will cast the fear of myself into him. I went into that tomb. I'm still alive. Many men cannot say the same thing. The true power of a curse, it lives here. No, no, no. I am Abdullah Bakum. Curses have no power over me. Of course. You think thieves are smart? They are not. If they were, they steal big. Steal small, you are a crook. Steal big, you are an explorer or a pharaoh. Could be. I'm a complex person. I find that niceties often get in the way of me truly expressing myself. You remind me of my ex-wife. I divorced her for being tactless. I send them away. Of course I send them away. I'm surprised you lack the tact to even ask. Yes, a booming market. A musician has his picture taken standing next to a sarcophagus, and the black market comes pounding on my door, begging me for supply. On most sites, yes. On my sites, no one steals. Twenty years, and not a single theft. A few tips? <laughs> yes, that's how I learned to read hieroglyphs. At first, they were inscrutable and mysterious, but then I got some tips. Just go look in your books. No. You want to try the other mural up top? <laughs> yeah, sure. This mural here. There is something very important hidden in this wall. I don't know if I can decode it in time. 
I won't. I won't answer any question in that tone. Not from you, not from the press, not from some American colleague. I have work to do. Leave me to it. It has been a long time since someone has had the nerve to speak to me in that manner. No, they don't look hard enough. They need me to show them. I know she's dead. I'll let the world see her. I will teach everyone why she is important. I will take her to see the world. <laughs> you have to ask him about that, not me. <laughs> we shall see. For you and me, no. For Ramses II, this is a one-room flat in a bad part of town. Until the time was right. He was very afraid she would not find him again in the afterlife. He wanted her hidden away for eternity, somewhere small and unremarkable where no one would think to look for her. He built her the most beautiful tomb of all the queens. He even built for her a temple at Abu Simbel. Wherever he stood, she stood by him. Nefertari was most dear to Ramses II. For thousands of years the lion spoke and no one understood. But understand the fear and you understand the man. You will be gone and forgotten. Wrong. You can and you will. You will die, Ramses II. Yes, you are thinking like a pharaoh. Now tell me, how could you lose what you have? Exactly. Now tell me, what are you afraid of? Looking at all of this, what do you want? They look to us as if we were the sun. And remember, we are Ramses. We are the sun, most favored by Ra, sun god. The heartbeat of this world is for us alone. Listen to the river. That is better. The birds of prey and even the deadly serpents bow before us. No, refusing to learn. That is silly. Again, good. Listen to the river. You are not doing it. Be Ramses with me. Come now, survey the kingdom. We are kings. Look at the sands. They part in the most elegant tribute to our majesty. I, Ramses II, I look at my kingdom. Look at it with me. Please, I am much more handsome than he was. Now pay attention. I am Ramses II. <laughs> no. Yes, now let me show you why I am the best archaeologist in the world in one simple step. How he understands the world is so radically different that even though you understand the words he spoke, you could never understand what he was trying to say. There is a saying, if a lion could speak, we would not understand him. So let's say one day, magically, poof, a very smart lion learns to speak the king's English. We have to learn to think like they did. But it's not easy. Anyone who says different, lies. Or is stupid. No, the people who had proof have been dead 100 times longer than they were ever alive. So they're not talking. Nobody knows. I say she was never there to begin with. They found two kneecaps. The queen was nowhere to be found. The most magnificent of its kind. But when they opened the tomb, do you know what they found? Over 100 years ago, they found her tomb. Nefertari. Who does everyone want to find? The lost queen. No, I do not guess. No, no, no. I do not guess. When I'm sure, you'll know. You tell me. I don't leave the house for anything less than amazing. After 5,000 years of recorded history, that could be said about every hole in the ground. What are you getting at? One of the best? Pfft, I am the best. That's why this site is mine. When you are the best, like I am the best, no one else can ever help. No, they only get in your way. No. Get along? I know him. I respect his work. He's lucky to be alive. It's a good thing professors have such thick skulls. No stupid person has ever uttered that phrase. I've met many stupid people. As a group, they do not self-identify reliably. I see I must keep an eye on you. This is something the truly brave never say. This is the only good answer. Don't worry, Nancy. I will figure you out. It is. But you still haven't answered my question. It appears neither of us is going to get what we want. So I must know, are you very brave or just very stupid? Stub. Yes? Did you see that? I prefer the distinguished Dr. Rakum. 
Ah, you are still here, darling. <laughs>